remember the scene where he bathes his mother? Oh. And I was like, could you imagine doing this with Charles? No. <laughs> There's also a scene where he kills his mom, so. <laughs> Y'all already know how men be. Okay, yeah, I can't drop the M-bombs. <laughs> That's gonna go viral. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> That's gonna go fucking viral. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode is brought to you by Sattva. Go to sattva.com slash the shit and get $200 off your next order. Stein. Welcome. Good morning. Buongiorno. Your Konnichiwa. toilet Italian is getting really good. It's getting better. I didn't want to compliment you the other night because I don't want your head to get too big. Yeah. but You thought that would affect me if yeah. you complimented me on that? <laughs> Something I've been doing for two years. One compliment would throw me for a loop. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to get him. Well, the other day I actually was tempted to write you a letter. I told you this because I'm so proud of you. I know. And then you're like, but I didn't because I thought that'd be gay. What? Hey, by the way, <laughs> it's not. I know. I'm trying to tell. Look at me. It's not. You you can do that. That that'd be appreciated. Okay. But then I know I'm being sincere. Just look at. I listen, am. listen. I thought I should take pen to paper and let you know just how far you've come and how proud I, think I am that's really of nice. us and as I a think... couple and what we built. But then listen. But then I pictured you reading it and being like, "That's great." And then no, you just put it aside. That's not how I. That's then, not how I would read that. I'm letting you know. That's not how I would read that. Okay? Hey. That's not how I would read that. All right. Okay. I guess I'm hearkening back to our poorer times together. Mm. You know why. Because we've lost something in our house. What? We've lost something in our house. We've lost something? You know what I'm talking about. What did we lose? I don't know if I want to bring it up this soon, but it's been reminding me of our poorer days. Okay. When we had to wipe our own butts. Oh, don't bring that up. Jesus Christ. Why would you even... You're ruining the mood. Oh, I'm sorry. Everything was fine. <laughs> Mashing shit into ourselves all the time. Ugh. It's yeah. very sad. It's very sad. I don't know whether I should tell you guys what you're going to do. So I know. our Toto Washlet has uh, stopped working. Toto, of course, is the, <laughs> uh, the, the washlet, the bidet, if you will, that sprays water into our ass. The toilet talks to you. The seat lifts up by itself. It warms you. It bathes you. It comforts you. Um, I learned that uh, the Japanese get credit for it, but there was actually an American that designed it and sold the patent to them. So even though everyone goes Japanese, Japanese, there was actually an American designer who oh, came wow. up with that. The point is it's not working. The GoFundMe is set up um, for you guys to uh, hopefully do the right thing. It's, uh, it's been a horrible it's tragic. few days. It's tragedy. It's tragedy. There's some things going on in the world. I know Ukraine, <laughs> Gaza and shit, but the Toto watch that... That is not working in our home. I think, I think we know suffering is my point. I think we know what it is to suffer. <laughs> and it is mashing shit into your <laughs> own ass with paper like a fucking barbarian. Like a mule. And then not only that, I have to now flush the toilet on my own, which yeah. as you know from, from the last episode we did i blocked up two toilets doing you're that. a big shitter everybody knows you're a big shitter and a big wiper and this is yeah you have to press the button on your own it's, terrible. it's really it's kind of like i don't want to say anything that people wouldn't like but it's kind of like slave labor is what it feels like <laughs> it feels like we're doing like slavery yeah it does feel that way Oh, I gotta reach over yeah. here. I gotta push it. It's supposed to do it automatically. Well, thank God the flush button works. That's about the only yeah, thing. Yeah, that left. could have been a real fucking nightmare. And the seat warmer still works. Mm. And every time I plunk down on it, I thank the Toto for still working with the heat. I, I'm thankful for it. Yeah. So if you think we're lost touch, let me tell you something. <laughs> we're right back there with you now. There's no <laughs> back no to our warm rampart water days. Spraying our assholes. And you know what it's I've rough. reverted to doing mm -hmm. this morning? Shit to shower again. Wow. Mm -hmm. Remember, wow. we discovered this about it like, what, 12, 13 years ago that Ari 
Shafiri does the same yes. technique. We learned this back in the Silver Lake days. He does something vile. I, I don't know if you do it quite like he just shits and then just stands up. Yeah, that's what I do. Oof. <laughs> that's what I do. And then I go Oof. into the, the shower and then I wash God, my own ass. It's one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard. Yeah, and I don't use a washcloth. I just do hand and soap. Oh. What do you think of them apples? <laughs> Can I tell you something? <laughs> the pores are going to like this. I uh, the, through through my uh, the course of my own discovery of like what they're like and what they do <laughs> and my investigation into washcloths. Yeah. I started using washcloths uh for like my asshole. Wait, yeah. this is a this is a YMH yeah, exclusive. It's big. I'm your spouse and I don't even know this. Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? In the shower? Yeah, in the shower. Yeah. Cause I was like, oh, it really does help clean your asshole. So you've been taking in <laughs> by the way, I use those for my face. Yeah, I use them on my asshole. <laughs> this is what I take my makeup off with. Yeah, I use it for my asshole. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, oh, wow. Because it really clean. Because what happens is you pull it up and it's all brown. And then you just kind of <laughs> rinse it and then you do it again. And then when it finally is white, yeah, you're good. This is my face. Here, let's play this opening Thanks. clip. Thank okay, you. here we go. I'm a funny motherfucker oh, yeah. who respects women. And I got a huge cock and some nice biceps. And I'm like six foot tall, so that helps. <laughs> he's fucking oh, right. right. Yeah, he's my Don't bring anyone mother into this. Yo, mama in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Mom Tom Segura. Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Okay, here we go, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Come on. One. Stop swimming. It's not it's fun to watch. I like watching it. Wait until you hear it. Wait until I buy that drum set. How did we start today? You were going to what? You were going to write a letter? I was going to write a letter to tell you You're how proud. proud I am yeah. of all of our life together and what you've accomplished and what we've done together. And and then I, I thought better of it. I thought, nope, I don't want, I don't, because I just see you, this is this is usually when I give you anything. Oh, I remember. Hold on. You non usually put Italiano it aside and then you go like giorno. that. That's right. But you, this is literally you when I yeah. give you anything. Oh, thanks. No, no, this is this is a lie. And you're very, very, you're a liar and you're damaged and you're not listening. You, I'll be like, hey, I want to tell you something and it's sincere. And you're like, okay. <laughs> Jesus, this is fucking weird. That's it. You're like the Joker. <laughs> you just, you're like, ah. Yeah, and I'm like, um, I was trying to tell you something sincere. You're like, I know, I just all these feelings. I don't like this shit. That's you. I am the, I tell yeah. you, do you know, I can't watch that movie if I'm even remotely depressed because I'm like, yep. I guess it's different for me because I laugh so hard <laughs> in that movie. You do. You were yeah. LOLing last night. Yeah. We rewatched it together and I'm like, this isn't a comedy, babe. <laughs> <laughs> the bet when he kills that dude in his apartment and the yeah, little guy's like, cool. ah, ah. <laughs> the little guy. <laughs> yeah. That part made me laugh the most. I know. I think because there's so many, I mean, he is trying to be a stand-up comedian. And yeah. if you're wondering what it's like to be a stand-up comic, that is exactly what it's like. <laughs> the comedy store is a mental hospital. Like, it's, <laughs> That's exactly it, what it's most like. Com like. You look back on your career as a comedian and, going, and doing spots in different clubs. <laughs> I mean, half the people that walk in for spots uh, are just a couple, like a degree off from Joaquin Phoenix in, in that movie. Like, they're yeah. just... You know, yes. they're fucking, yeah. There were and they get like, up there and you watch them and you're like, what the fuck? There's like <laughs> homeless people crazy. that would do, remember like homeless, crazy people that would do the comedy store yeah. potluck, like literally mental patients. Yeah. Yeah. And then you find out they've been doing it 18 years and you're like, hmm. I know. I know. But okay. like, that's why Last Comic Standing, for all the annoyances it was for comedians that were like, they hated that show, yeah. it was good for like, the outliers yeah. because those people thrived in 
that medium. Yeah. Like it actually gave some people opportunities that would normally be cast aside. So for that sure. was a great show for that. No, anything that helps comedians is, is yeah. good for the whole, for the lot of us. But we sure. were watching the Joker and his mother is a crazy person, which, which is, is probably why I relate so much to the Joker yeah. too. It could have been me. And um, I'm like, and we came to the conclusion. We're like, why is it that like every mom just gets more annoying with age. I know it's usually moms. Like we talked to some people who were like, yeah, they're saying that their dad was, but I feel like for most people, it's that their mom is. They're just like, oh. Yeah, it's just, she gets unbearable. It's whatever her most annoying trait is, it becomes her only trait. <laughs> it's like your mom drops everything else because yeah. her, I guess it's like Why her is life that? is winding down. So all the other things that interested her or that she what used to, she was like, I don't do any of that. I just, I'm just annoying. <laughs> Well, because it happened to my mom. She yeah. became her worst possible self at the end of her life. Yes. And I just see it in other people's moms that I'm friends with. It's like you just get more and more annoying with age. Whereas men get softer. And they get more sensitive. And like kind of cooler to be around. Yeah. You most know? people, I say most, they're like, yeah, my dad's pretty cool. Like he's, he's cause he's like. He's a low T king. That's the best part. That's he's, what he's it is. He's not trying to fuck anything. Yeah, he's that's just what like it is. enjoying life. The things that he used to just pass by, he appreciates now. Oh, this is beautiful or that's sweet. You know, he's like a little more, he's touched by the softer things. Yes. And then he's usually just an older guy is totally like, yeah, this is what I wear. Yeah. This is what I like and this is what I do. So he's very straightforward. I don't know why the older lady doesn't I know seem why. like that. Raise I know your hand. why. why? I'll, I'll tell you why. Estrogen, okay. Oh, so it's more hormonal. It, it's things. nature's tequila. It, it makes you crazy. It makes you want children and the family and yeah. dogs, like me. Like I want five dogs. I want to raise children. And what happens is it depletes you over time because you're giving. You're the giving tree, giving, yeah. giving, giving. Yeah. And then by the time estrogen leaves the building, you're like, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa! You wake up. And you're like, what the fuck am I doing all this shit for everybody else? Yeah. Fuck you. Now it's my turn. No and one, then no one's like that. And you start buying crazy outfits and no, no doing one's... crazy stuff. And then it's happening, Tom. I'm going to become the most annoying version of myself. Great. Will you warn me if I become? Sure. I don't want to do that, though. Here's your warning. Am I already there? <laughs> no. Because no. no. I'm fighting against it. I'm taking the hormones. Okay. I'm back on the pro. Um, I exercise. See? This is why. This is he's ignoring me. This is why women become annoying. I, I'm just excited to read something to you. Oh, so, okay. All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> they keep coming in. We well, ain't that straight. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait. There's more airtight emails. God bless America. All right. Let me this fix, is amazing. Let me get my dad eyes on. <laughs> uh, here you go. Ready? I can't wait. What's up, guys? I am going to be touring in Texas this weekend. I will be in San Antonio and Dallas. There are still tickets left Sunday, March 10th in Belton, Texas at the Cadence Bank Center. And then going to Florida, which I cannot wait to do. I'm doing two shows in St. Augustine at the St. Augustine Amphitheater, March 13th and March 15th. There are still tickets left on March 13th. Uh, March 14th, I'll be in Orlando at the Kia Center. Very excited to come there. You can get the tickets and all the tour information at tomsegura.com slash tour. What's the easiest choice you can make? Window seat over the middle seat? Your go-to drink order? Outsourcing business tasks you hate. What about selling with Shopify? Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million order stage? Shopify is here to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering out outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. I love Shopify. It's such an easy platform to use to really do anything you need to do with your e-commerce. We've used it before and I will endorse it fully for any small business owner. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. and Shopify's the global force behind all birds and Brooklinen and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. 
Plus, Shopify's extensive help resources are there to support your success every step of the way. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash mom's house, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash mom's house now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash mom's house. One in five Americans have learned a new language on their bucket list. If that's you, make 2024 the year you finally check it off the list with Babbel. Babbel is a science-backed language learning app that actually works. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you speak the language. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are handcrafted by over 200 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real life situations and delivered with conversation based teaching. So you're ready to practice what you've learned in the real world. I've been learning Spanish on Babbel and it's been so easy and so fun. And it's fun to even practice with Tom now. That's how good I've gotten. Babbel's designed by real people for real conversations. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, get 50% off a one-time payment for a lifetime Babbel subscription. But only for our listeners at babbel.com slash YMH. Get 50% off at babbel.com slash YMH. That's spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash YMH. Rules and restrictions may apply. I was in the Navy, of course, okay. and this happened 20 plus years ago. My buddy roommate said he wanted to run a train on a girl. Yeah. We found a girl online who wanted to. She was half black, half white, worked at Ro Red Robin. Yum. I love Red Robin. The night it happened, my roommate's friend happened to be there only because he was over 21 and bought the alcohol. When I picked up the girl, literally at first sight, she kissed me. Wow. After we got back to my apartment, she started to down Bacardi. Rum. When it hit, she started to make out again. We took it to the bedroom. Me and the other guy were Eiffel Towering her. Wait, what does that mean? Eiffel Towering. Someone's here and someone's, you know, standing up. Okay. Right? Mm. Like in her mouth. Right? Eiffel Towering? Yeah. What is the Eiffel Tower? Someone's, she's sitting on this guy. Okay. And then, this, and then she, her, her mouth is on the guy okay. above him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Am okay. I correct? Is that right? Yes. No, the French. Uh, when I called out to my, um, my buddy to get in there, he was currently on the phone with his mom and said, sorry, mom, I got to go. He came in and found a hole. After we were done the next morning, I woke up and immediately started to have sex with her again. My buddy who was sleeping in the same bed said he couldn't sleep when we were doing it. I told him to either get up and join in or leave. He left the room. I finished and went to take a shower. He went in there and got a piece and then took a shower. Jesus. After I was done, of course. Then after he was done, his buddy went in and used the dirty little whore. <laughs> oh, when she was taking a shower, we had to rock, paper, scissors to see who took her home. I lost, so I had to take her home. It was the longest drive of shame ever. Robert. Wow. Thanks, Robert. What a cool story. It is a cool story, and I appreciate <laughs> Your candor. It, well, it was, and, and also to Tom, as you often say, yeah. dirty little whore or perfect angel from God. Yeah. I mean, we need to stop demin diminishing these women that that did this. This girl serviced three guys for in fun. the military, in the yeah. Navy. Just like three buddies. We're like, yeah, okay. Your friend, too. Sure. They all dumped clips in her. That's She's pretty She's a patriot. Crazy. Yeah. Not no, a that is, I don't want to shame her. I think that no. is pretty cool. What a great time to be And she alive. did that at night and in the morning for all three. Wow. That's pretty rad. Wow. She's Imagine. got a cool... You, uh, by the way, do you think that's her only crazy story like that? No. 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 I mean, the, back, back, back when I was 21, you couldn't just go online. I'd have no. to put an ad in a paper or something. Yeah, for that's sure. so sketchy. It's... Uh, what a great time to be alive. Yeah, pretty neat. This is in kind of the same lane... Sort of, but I don't know. I don't think you've seen this. You look I'm, excited. I'm, I'm very excited yeah, to show you this. I can tell. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here you go. A spicy content creator has shocked fans after she revealed that her adult content is actually filmed by her own son. <sighs> Andressa Urash has made a name for herself on her adult subscription site, as well as racking up over 3 million followers on Instagram for her racy content. However, the revelation that it's actually her teenage son behind the camera on many of her shoots has left her fans divided. It's just like the gays. <laughs> 
The 36-year-old former Miss Bum Bum model, who's from Brazil, opened up about the unconventional decision to keep it in the family when she was yeah. asked who shoots her spicy content. Taking part in an Instagram Q&A in the summer, one of her followers asked her son Arthur, who was 18 at the time, Arthur, are you the one who films and dresses only fans? To which she replied, yep, I'm really bad at the pictures, right? While many teenagers would be mortified at the thought of having to witness their parents making adult content, let alone be the ones shooting it, Arthur seems pretty unfazed by his mum's career. Yeah. Ask them, will you ever date your mom? <laughs> Though some people were supportive of him helping his mum out, others were not so pleased to find that the team was the one behind the camera, with one asking, you're not ashamed of your mother selling herself? Do you film her like this? To which he clapped back, I'm not ashamed, I'm very serene with her decision. Once in a while he calls me mom, you know what I mean? <laughs> the pair appear to have a very close relationship and have yeah. even reportedly been seen clubbing together in the past. That's so cool. Andressa did, however, take a short break from posting on the adult content platform last year in order to focus on her religion, saying at the time, I made this decision because God has bothered me with many things and I know that if I die I won't take anything with me. I'm starting over with God. Before cool. returning to the platform two months later. <laughs> I'm going to fluid bond with Jesse. So that's pretty cool, right? Well, it's kind of a dream come true. I mean, as a mom, to like do something creative with your son. With your son. It is kind of sweet. And like, I don't want my kids to ever leave the nest. And this is kind of a cool way to have a business with them. Why not? Yeah. He's filming his mom. <laughs> getting bangs and stuff. And he's like, I'm really good with pictures. <laughs> Could you imagine, it's, Charo? Yeah, it's actually like, I actually, the brain doesn't even comprehend this it doesn't register because no, we were watching even the the joker last night remember the scene where he bathes his mother oh and i was like could you imagine doing this with charo no <laughs> fuck and that's an innocent bath just bathing your there's mother. also a scene where he kills his mom so, <laughs> <laughs> that's so <laughs> that funny. scene registered I a whole lot it. more yeah i don't know I don't know. Do you get used to seeing your mom doing stuff? You I must. mean, it's one thing for someone to like, I don't, I guess, see their mom in the nude, but she's shooting content. Like, yeah, she's taking loads to the face and he's like, got it. I'll upload this right away, mom. That this is very, very. Well, this is the same thing as dads getting their daughter to the strip club. And we've heard that theme time and time again in the porno industry. This is this is just this is just a cool new twist on an old theme, Tom. There's something there's just some lines that shouldn't be violated. What? You know? I just I don't know. Why are you shaming them? God? You're right. Shame on me. <laughs> Shame on me. You should be more open. It is Brazil. <laughs> you know, they're oh, culturally yeah. different, you know. <laughs> If you're born in a different country, it just it doesn't it doesn't count. Brazil. We're all so different. Yeah. Yeah. It's Mothers cool and sons are just different there, I guess. <laughs> it's fucking crazy when, when people do that. Well, I'm from Europe. And you're like, yeah, that's not, that doesn't change this at all. Well, I don't know. But listen, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You go to what? a you German, you go to a German beach, mm -hmm. nothing but dicks. And that's the norm. Yeah, that's different, though. That's different. You're saying people are comfortable with the human body. Sexual yeah. content is different I than know, the that human is body. That you is know? different. Yeah. That is different. Yeah, because the, the human body shouldn't alarm somebody like yeah. where they can't handle seeing a nude That's true. person. That's true. But like your dad shoving his dick into someone's mouth is different than that. I guess if you're square. If you're weird, yeah. yeah. For being fucking gay Dorks. about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. That's silly me. <laughs> By the way, it's cool. cool. Speaking of cool parents, keep it in the family. Um, iconic know. actor Robert De Niro was uh, recently um, featured on the cover of People magazine. I don't know if you saw this. It's, no, it's, I saw it and it angered me. And I hate that we're celebrating fame, family, and, and the, the joy, joy of fatherhood. fatherhood. He's a hundred and twelve years old. How old is he? Just Does it fathered say there? a kid, a new kid. Yeah. I mean, this should be shamed. This is morally reprehensible. He's 80. No, and, it, and he's this... a new dad? Is that what I'm seeing? Yes. I'm... He just had another kid. That's fucking cool, no, man. It's, it's, this, this should not be celebrated. Baby daughter Gia, 10 months. Man, that is very, <laughs> that is nice. So when Gia's in kindergarten. It's thoughtful. He's dead by the time well, she's in kindergarten. 100%, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we live in a time now where People Magazine has to pretend like it's cool. Like we have that's to think an, everything's cool. That's, here's the thing. You know how people go Hollywood is depraved and sick? Yeah. And a lot of their examples are actually, they're lies. They're not true. But this is weird. And this is depraved to be like, 
What a fucking cool guy. Yeah. You had your baby at 80. Good for you. Good for you. So proud. I mean, she won't, he won't be a part of her life. She's not going to nope. remember him. No. Who's this in the photos? Oh, that's your dad. You're seven now, but back then, yeah, that was your dad. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? And let's not also forget even the horror show of pimping your kid out to be in a magazine spread. Yeah. Like for what? For likes? For... He needs to be more famous. I have no idea. You can only idea, like, be celebrated this. for this if you are a huge success in life. If you're not, uh, if you're not like a big winner, that's true, right? That's like if you're true. a fucking loser, then they're like, and you had a baby at eighty, people be like, you're a spectacular piece of shit, you know. <laughs> but if you're iconic, famous, wealthy, then people are like, that's true. You if did you're it. if you're beloved too, yeah, he's beloved. But if you're hated. Forget about it. Yeah, like Vince McMahon having a kid at 81 would be different. And here's news. the thing. Why is this article coming up? It's only yeah, for publicity. For what? That means he's got to be promoting something. But to use your What's the small print say there? Can you see it? I can't read it from here. What is he it's promoting? The 80-year-old acting legend opens up about life as a dad. Oscar buzz for kill. That's why. Oh, they wanted him to win the and Oscar. And his <laughs> future. I'm ready to take whatever life gives me. Like another kid <laughs> at 80. Yeah. It's so strange. Isn't it weird that he didn't get a vasectomy too? And here's the other get thing that people do when, when you're very famous and beloved, they're hesitant to criticize behavior that they'll criticize in anybody else. So like if you bring this up to like some Hollywood elite, they'll be like, yeah, but you know, Bob's a good guy. I mean, he's, yeah. he's, 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 I've seen him with her. He's lo <laughs> yeah, he loves yeah, her. He and, just loves that kid. You know, people make different choices. They do different things. And you're like, so just not being there. At all for the kid will be cool. Abandoning your child. Yeah, it's a form of abandonment. Is, no, a child it, yeah. at 80 is a form of abandonment. It's completely yeah. immoral. It's not cool to hey. hey, I've got a yeah. baby That's onesie. That's what you do for your grandkid because you're not going to be there yeah. for it. But you so know what? Like, because he wants, so, so for those of you who don't know, like when the Oscars come out, these movie studios, they put money behind projects to rally. The PR machine, yeah. So that's why he's doing this to win an Oscar at 81. He needs to win an Oscar. Another. Another yeah. one at yes. 81. That's why he's pimping his kid out. And, and his friends unreal. would all be like, he's, I mean, you know, he's a great dad. He's just great. Wow. And if a woman were to be like, I had a baby at 81, shame. How dare you? If it were the, possible? Yeah. People would be like, you're a horrible person. You're a bad person. Yeah. Or just even like adopting a newborn at 81. Like, what are you doing? What is your level of participation at 80? Because I've seen grandparents with kids, you know? Yeah. Like, they're just Not like, good. Yeah, they go, oh, they got you a toy, and they kiss them, and then they're like, okay, okay, here you go. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I'm 80. Get on the ground? No, they can't get on the ground. Which is, by the way, where a kid lives, on the ground. I know. A baby lives on the ground. <laughs> you can't even bend down they to pick up stand, the kid. They can't stand. They can't, you know, they're just like crawling around. Yeah, this is... It's hilarious. That is that is the depravity of Hollywood. I know, celebrating yeah. Celebrating that. Yeah. For sure. And, and people being like, good for him. The joy of fatherhood. <laughs> okay. Sure. For like, and this is not his first. How many kids does he have, Zolo? For sure. He has yeah, like seven or something with kids, different women. Yeah. yeah. Just no respect for the institution of fatherhood at all. Yeah. He has, he's not even participating in the other kids' lives, probably. There's yeah, one, one, two, two three, three, four, <laughs> five, yeah, seven. Oh, yeah, seven. You're yeah. right. Seven, I don't know if that includes <laughs> the baby. <laughs> Lucky number eight. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. He, oh, his seventh child is the, the baby. Okay. Well, that's just fantastic. Yeah. I guess they'll know their siblings. Yeah. But, hey, great actor. I like his, most of his movies really good. I mean. Yeah, there was a turning point, but yeah. 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 Did some cool stuff. Did, did, a, little did a little dancing. Did dancing, a little singing. <laughs> Made some good movies. Ay, ay, ay. It's insane. Yeah. It's totally insane behavior. It is. Yeah. Now, and, and even more insane to be celebrated, I agree. It's completely It's totally like, crazy. Can we not? They should, he should be like, don't tell anybody I fucking did this. I think so too. Yeah. Keep it quiet. It's shameful. Why? Why would I be ashamed? I love her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Old. Sure thing, pal. Whatever you say. Hey, Hoops fans. It's that time of year. The NBA season is in full swing from buzzer beaters to jaw-dropping dunks. This season is on fire. I've partnered up with DraftKings to get you right in on the action. Discover the excitement of real-time betting by downloading the DraftKings app now. New customers get a no-sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back up to one. dollars 
$1,000 in the amount of your original bet if it doesn't hit. Minimum deposit of $5. Sign up using my promo code MOM. The crown is yours. That's right. New customers can get a no sweat bet up to $1,000 if your first bet loses. And DraftKings has got something for the existing customers as well. All customers get SGP insurance every day. Get a bonus bet back if one leg of your SGP loses. Minimum number of legs required and max bet varies. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use my promo code MOM and get a no sweat bet. That's promo code MOM only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Make life insurance part of your financial planning this year. Start shopping now with Policy Genius to find a policy to protect your family. Getting life insurance today means you'll have peace of mind so that if something were to happen to you, your family can cover expenses while getting back on their feet. Luckily, Policy Genius helps you compare your options from top companies and their team of licensed experts is on hand to help talk you through it. Look, I know life insurance is a bummer, but Policy Genius makes it so easy to compare your options. You've got to try it. Even if you've already uh, have a life insurance policy through work. It may not offer enough protection for your family's needs, and it may not follow you if you leave your job. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for $1 million of coverage. Some options offer same-day approval and avoid unnecessary medical claims. Save time and money and provide your family with a financial safety net using Policy Genius. Head to policygenius.com slash YMH or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com slash YMH. And you know some dummies listening to this going, guys, why are you so mean? Because y you wouldn't even adopt a dog. I get a puppy at 80? At no, you'd be like, "There's, no, I can't be here for the next five years. Yeah, people Yeah, yeah people don't get pets because they can't commit to a pet for 10 mm. to 15 years. But mm. a human child, guys. She doesn't need that much time with him. <laughs> 10, 11 months is all you need with your dad. Guys, come on. So yeah, to those that don't know, yes, I am talking to a girl. Uh, I've been talking to her for quite a while. Her name's Patria Ooh. or Patricia in English. Uh -huh. uh, but she doesn't know English. She's uh, she lives in uh, Aranda, Jalisco, Mexico. Oh, nice. Um, she's ten years younger than me, which I'm totally cool with because uh, I like younger women, anyways. Like eighteen to uh, twenty six, twenty seven. Perfect. Know? That's kind of a good range. That's what I like too. <laughs> Legal to almost this? lame, you know. That's basically <laughs> the age range. I don't want a woman my age, but uh, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> I like her a lot. Uh, she doesn't have any kids and she's never been married and she's fine as fuck, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited to see her again in, um, in March, April okay. when I fly back to Mexico. <laughs> but yes, I do have a sort of girlfriend in my life right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, thank in you Mexico. For the update. <laughs> um, wow. do you think that like, that is, uh, real hair because it's fucking incredible. it's gorgeous it's really amazing i think it is because he's showcasing it yeah um then again i have seen amazon wigs like that too i own a few yeah. I, it's hard to tell but i think that he's showcasing it because he wants to and remember he's got great muscles i don't even remember him oh, from before he's but like i fucking i'm just genetically superior yeah, yeah like he is a catch well, we talked about him before he yes. talked about that yes he talked about it so evidently tom segura mentioned me on his podcast and it's getting hundreds of thousands of views, close to a million. I don't really know who Tom Segura is. What's up, bro? And I guess they sort of made a laugh at my own expense, which doesn't bother me. If people can laugh at me for something, I mean, you know, that makes me happy. I mean, I don't take things seriously. I'm an easy come, easy go kind of dude. That's good, you know. But I'm getting all these weird notifications now, like people saying that they've met me and they I'm not famous guys uh, i'm not i'm just some dude that makes videos and that's it but uh mm -hmm. like they're like i met him before and i met him before at this place and i'm like i don't remember who you are and these comments or these comments are weird but really from our fans yeah i'm not used to this kind of attention really but i guess <laughs> i asked for it and eh, i guess it's whatever <laughs> Well, That's a pretty good uh, disposition on he's that. He's got I a think. great attitude. And I think if anything, we're helping him find the woman of his dreams. Because yeah. now we're casting a wide net for him. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of women in Anchorage, right? Or there's... 
There's more women than men. I forget. There's a crazy imbalance of men. To, I forget what it is. Yeah, I think. Is it way more men? I forget. Way more women. Probably more wet. More men. I want to say. But no. we're doing him a fave, and there are more men than women. Yeah. So see so what I mean. So we're actually upping his value. Yeah, but that's a pretty close. I thought doesn't Anchorage have a different. Um, scroll back up. I think that's his real hair. Yeah, that's... It's very shiny. Okay. Yeah. It's about the same, actually. Yeah. His hair yeah, is... I actually like the Look whole oh, beehive weird. hairdo 1960s thing. That's not... I, I know only chicks wore it in the 1960s, but you that's know his what? real fuck, hair. Fuck the haters, right? The hairline's too low now. Talk all the shit hair. you want. I like it vintage and it's fucking it's kind of cool it's unique too it is like you don't even see this <laughs> anymore even with females but yeah yeah otherwise fuck females. i like it and it's easy i don't know if i would do it in public i mean that's a whole other story but <laughs> uh on video see, fucking now legit fuck the haters all right because I'd have to get a good look at his hairline. It hair does look weird right there. I, I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. I like this beehive, too. I think he looks good on him. It, it works. It definitely yeah, works. Yeah, he should continue it. And I hope his girlfriend in Mexico works out. Me, he too. He likes them young. Patricia, yeah. Patricia. 18 to 20. You're not saying so. it right. Oh, right, right. How Sorry. He said Patric it? Patricia. Yeah. Oh, he said, like, something else, actually. Atriz. Patria. Patria, what she said was, like, Patricia. But you're right. It is Patricia. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. excited. Oh, I forgot to tell you my favorite bit. Yeah. There's lifelong bits that you do with someone, right? If you're with somebody a long yeah. time, there's like continuous 20 year bits. Yeah. And my favorite one you do is, uh, do you even think I'm a woman? <laughs> That's my favorite one you do. <laughs> well, because you constantly... How do I put this? Well, for instance, sometimes when I go to hug you, you'll pat my back hard. Okay, buddy, thanks. And I'm like, <clears throat> I'm not a... Things like that. You'll fart. You'll fart in your hand and whiff it. You'll... I don't do that. That's not true. You do things like that. Or you sniff your balls. You put I your hands balls, on your balls. And, then, and, and, and I'm like, do you even think of me as a woman anymore? <laughs> See, you a, like that. That's, that's a fun bit, yeah. Okay, buddy, you pat me yeah. like a dog yeah. sometimes. Yeah, it's like, yeah. but I wonder if all married women yeah. go through this, like where the husband just treats you like another dude at some point. Yeah, sure. Because there are moments where you do treat me like a woman. Yeah. But they're fleeting. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's back to bro town. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Is it? I like it, yeah. Is it? I like you saying that thing. <laughs> you, know, you, go, you know, I'm a woman. <laughs> I am. I used to be before we got together. <laughs> Back when you, I think there was like a four or five month window where you treated me like a woman. Yeah. And then the minute you started farting, that ended. It just ends. Yeah. Farts now, are probably the pathway into bro town. Because <laughs> I don't think you see me as obviously a, a lady anymore. Oh, that's not true. Those days are gone. No, I see you as a lady. I see you as a lady. I you know. look lovely. You look really nice today. Thanks. Does Bert see Leanne? No way. No. She no. bros down hard. He bros well, down with her. There's no dialing back what he does. No. No. He's he's a lot grosser than you. He's way grosser. He's a disgusting person. He sure. still keeps his fingernail clippings taped he's under the, he's the table. He's one of the grossest people I've ever met in my life. Yeah. And then he has a booger collection Ugh. in the um, doorway, she said, Ugh. right? Yeah, that's he, he's gnarly. Very disgusting. I will say you're better at stuff. There's than things Bert. that I just, I, yeah, I, you know. What's alarming to me is, y like, you can go, you go work out, and then you don't shower all day. I'll long. wait till I get home. Like, yeah. what is wrong with you? That's that place. One of the places I go doesn't have a shower. Other place does. So if I, if there's a shower, I use it. If they don't have one, sometimes I just don't have time to go home shower before I continue my day. So I go out, change shirts, shorts. But then I'll shower when I get but home. But then you'll tell me like, oh, my nuts stink. Yeah. I'm like, I, can, I don't want to hear this. Because I'll do the thumb crease. Oh, my You know, puke. when you do the that thing one, and you're oh. like, oof. You see how the guys nod? They all know. Stop. And you're like, God, that's me? Fucking stanky nuts. And that's when I say, do you think I'm a woman? Yeah, I'll be like, so you want to smell this? No. Yeah. Most of people like smells. I don't like your smells. Oh, and then you did it again 
the other day where you're like, I got to take a shit. And then you just stayed put for like another 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm it like, wasn't. Yeah. I just knew that it was in the, you know, it was in the neighborhood. It wasn't necessarily right. knocking on the door. I mean, I don't know how you hold it so long. I would like to buy a bedroom set. Do you have any credit? No, I received social security and welfare. You have to see the special man. With no problem. I like to buy a living room set. Do you have any credit? No, I filed bankruptcy. You have to see the special man. With no problem. I say, I say, see Frankie and Johnny, he's the credit man in town. For only $50 down, he can put you in a living room set, a bedroom set today. See the special man. I got the $50. With no problem. I got it, I got it. With no problem. How great was that? Yeah, that was really good. These commercials got to come back. I know I missed this time. This is like when I watched TV yesterday. Like I watched old school TV and yeah. it teleported me right, right back to the 90s. This that type of commercial, cool. uh, they really should bring these back. I think they should bring these back for national commercials. I think so too, because they're way better. They're, that's so much more. Everybody will talk about this commercial. Local flavor. Remember Crazy Gideon? Yeah. Same thing. Where you're like, Dude, this are, those are real people. Those, those are, are not actors. Oh, you could tell. Yeah, Jesus. that's what I like about it. Let her have it. Let her have it. Yeah. That guy's retarded. That's why he calls him the special <laughs> man. That's who's in charge of the financing I know. department. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I also like, it's Cal Worthington and he his calls dog him, See spot. the special man. Yeah, yeah, the special see man. See the special man. Let's see the special man. Is he literally R worded, you think? He's got something wrong with him. Yeah, for I sure. Let her have it. Let her have it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And they put him in the commercial. Let her have it. Yeah. Yeah. We have to see the special man. <laughs> that is a way to get everybody talking about your business. You put that on the Super Bowl. I know. They're, I mean, it would shut the website down. Lo-fi is always better than yeah. big stuff. Yeah. It's a, good, it's a really good point. Yeah. Well, that's what, that's what always flies on TikTok. Way, way, way better. Yeah. Lo-fi. It's what people want to see. Real shit. Because real stuff doesn't exist anymore. Everything's polished. Yeah. Like good. On the gram. Good yeah. You know what I mean? You gave me an idea. What's okay. that? I just have an You just talking about this just gave me a good idea. What are you going to share? Nope. Can I pee? Uh, yeah. Why don't we take a quick break? We'll be right back with our guests. Okay. Okay. And we're back and you can catch these guys at the 24th annual gathering of the Juggalos wow. this summer in Ohio. It's the insane clown posse. Thank you too much. And Violent J, everybody. Yeah. This had to happen. Uh, we had you last time. You weren't able to make it. So thank you very much for coming back or thank, coming here for the uh, first man, time. I'm sorry about not being able to make it, you know. Please. I mean, there's But no, I'm honored to be here. We're excited to have you guys. Yes. This is um, this is what I want to ask you because, like, we're just talking about maybe taking a vacation pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. Even though makeup doesn't provide a total disguise, like it's your face under it. Yeah. Do you, like, do you really feel like it's hiding in a way when it's hey, off for me it is a tiny bit i know for him it's less so yeah. you know what i'm saying it's because of his hair, hair and shit, stuff, you know yeah. what i'm saying but the tattoos always give it away yeah. that's true you know yeah but it, yeah i mean it's it's not like constant or nothing like that it's no. very manageable but if you go out like this it's definitely more oh, of, yeah come of course on. I, 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 I'll tell <laughs> if you, you walk into a restaurant you know what's like, crazy just... if you're in certain areas they just think that we're like imposters like the like the lookalikes oh right yeah oh, oh no way. like you're a super fan yeah, yeah. I, I was asked the other night if i was cosplaying oh, really oh yeah. my god <laughs> first ever... time though in my life yeah i, I think was didn't we cr almost cross paths i think we did like a month ago like yes. a month ago, we were both in Tokyo or something oh, like that. Oh, that's right. Yes, and we're oh, at the same hotel. Oh, you heard there? Yeah, we're at the same hotel. Yeah, I mm. met a friend of yours. Yeah, that's a chef. right. Yeah, and that's right. he was cool as hell. Yeah, you met Philip. Yeah, yes. yeah. Did you get some of his food? Dude. And, and, uh, <laughs> um, no, no. No Philip food? But he was, listen, he was living his dream. <laughs> yes. Right? That's he said right. to be there... Uh, cooking, right? Oh, he's an American chef and, in Tokyo. Yeah, oh, so dope. we ended up. I mean, he he lives here. He lives here in no, Austin. No, he was just there, and like, he has oh. great great restaurants here. But he's a sushi chef, and so the it's a big deal to be an American sushi chef, white, and go do sushi in Tokyo, and, uh, and, mm -hmm. and it went really well for him. So and was he was like doing a, that, right? Yeah, and I was there living my dream, my a goal of mine. Yeah, to wrestle. In Japan. That's you what you were did? doing? Yes. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. At the Budokan Hall, which is a, a venue. There's a wrestling magazine called Pro Wrestling Illustrated. I grew up reading since I was 12. Uh -huh. I've been reading. It has a, a part, Arena Reports, Budokan Hall, and it would give the results, you know? And it was just like, all my life, how dope would that be? How dope would that be? So then, you know, 
I stopped wrestling a while ago, you know, both of us. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I ain't getting back in shit. That, this guy, I don't know yeah. what he's doing. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, yeah. my friend was like, man, come over and do it. He, and, and he's a star over there. And he brought, my, uh, shout out to man, man, Pondo. And uh, Pondo brought me over there, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Me and my girlfriend went. And uh, the first night I managed, you know, I was a manager in the corner. Yeah. And I'm like, man, look, they got all these big, huge banners of, of their stars hanging on the walls, you know? And the next night I'm wrestling two of them fucking dudes that are hanging on the wall, right? And I'm like, oh shit, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, your heart is so special. Yeah, you know, and it's a match. You know what I mean? We're, so did you wrestling. go for the whole like rehearsal and everything too? To Listen, like... they didn't speak English. What? So it's in Japan. We yeah, had that's true. Japanese yeah. wrestlers. Yeah. They, had, they had a device and they would say something. And then play it, and it would be an American. Yeah. And then we would respond and play it, and it would they would hear it in, J- in Japanese. Uh-huh. Wow. And so that was being passed around the dressing room, and you had to wait for That's it, cool. you know, for, for to get to your match, you know what I mean? And then you, we talked it over what we we're going to oh, do. I thought it was like an app on a phone or something. They had an actual, like, it was thing? A, it was a thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was just like, what the fuck? He's over there wrestling. <laughs> and then the first thing I see is two pictures, two still pictures, him upside down, and then him on his head on a dude's chest. Jesus, I was man. like, oh, my God, man. They're yeah, fucking my, die. When I wrestled, my finishing move was called Moonsault. Uh-huh. And it was, I, would, I would go to the top rope and do a backflip and land on a guy. Jesus. You know? Jesus. So in 2017 was the last time I did the moonsault and that was my retirement match you right. know we had at the gathering of the juggalos and I did the fucking moonsault and the next morning the, the entire front half of my foot was like purple and black you know what I mean Ooh. yeah and we had a concert that night so he's like five six years later he's like let me try it again maybe I'll really <laughs> fuck myself up I was days. like fucking all lienda all or nothing you know what I mean I, I, w- I went and I fucking wrestled did my shit, and I'm climbing those ropes, and I'm like, man, here it goes, because I'm a lot older, yeah. a lot fatter, a lot slower, and here it goes. And I fucking did it, gave it everything I got. I literally landed on top, my neck, my head landed on dive. top of the dude's <laughs> chest. Oh, Jesus okay? Christ, man. He's laying on the mat, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if, he, and if I didn't, wasn't absorbed by that human body, I'd have literally just broke my neck. There's oh, no question about it. You know what I'm okay. saying? And thanks to him, he absorbed it. So are we done with this? Or are you going to do it again? I'm telling you, listen, when I when I finished that and, and how stiff my body was the next day, you yeah. know, you I was like, that. um, I'm disrespecting God by doing that. That's true. You know what I mean? He'll be back in the ring. You know what I mean? Like, n- no, I won't. I will never do another. I don't. Give a, I don't I'm not saying you're gonna do another moon song, no, but you'll be in another. That's match. what I mean, though. Yeah, but m- not, maybe, maybe not. A, I will never do another moon song. Okay. I don't think you're capable. That's it. Ever again. Another, that's I feel it. like I'm disrespecting God. By okay. Doing that. You know well, what yeah. I mean? I'm giving. I, I got my kids. I got everything, and myself. And I'm like, but I was at Budokan Hall. Yeah, you had to do in it. Japan. You did it. And I did it. So you've done. You're doing. You're 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 doing dreams right now. You did that. You did stand up. You just, did. He just tried stand up last night. Congrats! First Where time at? At, at Kill Tony. No shit. Listen, I've said this a million times in all my life. Two things I can never be: a comedian and a stripper. Because uh, and now he's same. both. <laughs> Holy no, shit. I, I, no, both take. Like I can never get on stage and expect that I'm fine enough that people are gonna throw money at me. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just same. I can never I'm just be yeah. this picture. I'm very, right. Same, same. Type man I yeah. am, I could never do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> as a woman, as a stripper or anything. You know what I mean? And the other thing is being a comedian. You got a house full of people, like, make me laugh, motherfucker. Yeah, you yeah. Gotta yeah. be funny. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And to get up there and confident enough cracking jokes, and you can't just be like, did you hear about the guy? You know, they, you got to actually have a character. One-liners. And, and appear <laughs> relaxed enough and, and likable that they're feeling you. It takes a lot of fucking but here's bravery, the thing. courage. Right, you're talking to two steps. But here's the thing. Oh, now that you've done it, you've done it. The, the way that that usually goes is somebody goes, I did it. It's, you know, it's like a, 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 check, a bucket list thing or whatever. Or they find it like semi-addictive. They're like, I got to do it again. Oh, so man, like, I, I, It's too early to tell. Too early to tell. Okay. Yeah, because it just happened last night. But I'm telling you like this. I've been buzzing off that 
ever That's said. That's the secret. You know what I mean? The first thing he told me when I saw him today, he was like, man. You can't sleep. I played it for him on the way here. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, you would... You look like a fucking stand-up comic. Yeah. Yeah, I was, exp- I was expecting to watch some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I was. You know, he's not a fucking stand-up. I was, just, I'm sitting there with I was waiting for him to get shit thrown out of him, everything. But you got laughs? You got laughs? Man, I I didn't even know it was like that. Like, you, could, if you suck, they're going to let you know. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I had no idea. I thought if I was, honestly, I, I, was, I thought if I was coming, I'd have been on the panel. You know, like yeah, Tom Green. Cool yeah. I didn't make. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't make a special guest on the panel, and I didn't make it. I could. I couldn't fly out. But um, but yeah, I I knew he was going because I was supposed to be on it with him, and I'm familiar with the show, so sure. I know you sit on a couch and you fuck comedians up that don't yeah. know how to comedian. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, yes. And then when he told me, he was like, "Yeah, I was the cop." I was like, "What the fuck?" So uh, they told me in the dressing room, right? So I'm like, no. "So if I would have been there, would have been like a Smothers Brothers situation." <laughs> like, Wait, so like, they told me in the dress. Tony was like. You familiar with how the show? Uh, you familiar, they told you how the sh- what's going on and everything, right? And I was like, yeah, vaguely. <laughs> Let him know, I'm not really, you know. Yeah. And he was like, well, you're gonna go do stand up, and I was like, how long? And he was like, a minute. My itinerary did not say stand up on it. It no. just said. Kill Tony, yeah. yeah Wait, exactly. but did you have material prepared? No. You just wrote some shit on the so spot. He, he said, um, listen. I said, what do I do? I don't know stand up, you know. And he said, um, tell the story about when you went to uh uh Skankfest uh on mushrooms. Yeah. With no sleep. And and it is a funny story. Yeah. So I was like, all right, bet. All right. I, and I was like, thank and, and then I'm th- sitting there thinking about it, ten minutes later, I was like, thank you for that, man. That's what I'm gonna do. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Thank you for the suggestion, right? So then the show starts and I'm watching all these comedians cracking jokes they wrote. Right. Yeah. Nobody's telling a story. You know what I mean? And I was like, man, I want to fucking let me think of some funny. Let me think at least something funny to say before I go into the story. You know? Yeah. And then I started thinking more and more and more. And you know what I'm saying? And I went out there and I was supposed to do a minute and I accidentally did three minutes. Oh, yeah. Dude, you're hooked. You're doing you're it. You're in it. <laughs> you're doing it then again. Then you're in it, yeah. In it. And, and, I, and I thought I killed it. And you too, right? You said it was fresh? No, yeah. I was, I was like I said, I thought it was going to be garbage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was like, really wow. thought it was going to be garbage? Well, you know the fucking stand-up. You know what I'm saying? I, th- I didn't know what the fucking to expect. But I was like, holy, I thought somebody may have coached him or something. You know what I'm saying? I was like, wow, that was that was actually pretty impressive. <laughs> nice, man. man. It, yeah. it, 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 you're right natural. I, it's like right when I ended my... Uh, Right when I I kept right when I what I did was they had a clock on the wall, a timer. Yeah, uh, and um, I kept going through it in my head and looking at the timer, and it timed out to like a minute. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But then when I was out there, it was like three minutes. You know? Well, that means you were you're lost in the, club, dude. in the sauce. Yeah, you're lost. You in are it. in the moment, yes. and that's all that you can hope for. Well, here's the thing: that's you are awesome. a performer. Yes, like, you know yeah. you've been performing for years so you have a natural comfort up there that most people who are new wouldn't have also that's true you know how to work a mic you know yeah i do you know and 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 we have done seminars and tried to crack jokes yeah yeah you you gotta do back and forth banter i think you're gonna be i think you're gonna be on stage again doing that (laughs) how does it feel by the way to have the 24th gathering it's fucking crazy man it's like you know (laughs) Because, you know, when you think about, like, 2004 or five, it just seems like, you know, it was a minute ago. Yeah. Did you think when you sit you, down and think about it, you're like, fuck, that was 20 years ago, When man. you did it the, fir- the first time, was it just like, well, let's just see if we can get everybody together. We didn't know try- what we were doing the first time. Really? We, we had, like, set up, like, a, a a phone call and all this shit in our in our CD booklet. It was like a hidden, <laughs> hidden yeah, number. Hidden, yeah, so when you call it, so, right. so we were just like, well, fuck, we got to do something. You yeah. know, when the time started ticking down to it, you know what I'm saying? And so hit, we didn't yeah. know we were making a festival even. We just were doing an event, you know? It, we just, for ye- I mean, for years, there was a hidden number, and, right? And uh, it gave a date. And it was like something special was going to happen on his date. This is We're still working our way up, you know? <laughs> we're yeah. Like, now, so we're, now we're like, fuck, as, what are we As we got bigger and more successful on the underground, we're growing. And the date's approaching. We're like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? The first one was like way different than it is now, though, of course. You know, it was like real heavy on like the inflatable like gladiator games yeah. and shit like that. And it was, and- uh, we had, of course, we had wrestling, you know, and we had like um, outdoor uh, concerts and it was at a convention center. Yeah. Right. And the stage was actually in the parking lot. And it was like two, two, two days, I think. Mm-hmm. And we brought in, you know, big names in rap and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
And we played twice, probably. No, no. The first one, we only played once. We were, like, closing it out, and we made it about 10 minutes into our set, and it just, the, they it just, just got overran. Fans Everybody just stole everything. All the props. I remember because we had semis on the side of the stage. You know, yeah. So when they're done, they just load right in. And my dumb ass, I was like, oh, shit, because everybody's, like, swarming the stage. So I started backing up. Next thing I know, I'm in a semi. And then it's just like coming in like the fucking trash compactor from Star Wars. Yeah, you know? yeah. Mm. Oh shit! And I get it back. Finally, I, like, I was like, "There's much room." And then all of a sudden, they started moving back out. I Isn't there like, a thing too Ooh. where, like, you know, if you talk to people about um, what's it called? What's out in the desert every year? Burning oh, Man. Burning talk man. about Burning Man. There's people's perception of it, but then you talk to people who are there, and they're like, "It's not what you guys think it is." And I feel like it's the same thing for gathering the juggalos, where like there's a perception of it, and then if you talk to anybody that went, they're like, "Oh no, it's, it's like yeah, people think is like they're gonna get their ass kicked, and yeah. fucked up if they go there." And they're like, most people it's, you talk to are like, "Oh, it's a no, great yeah, time." People, that's are, the it's, it's <laughs> so far from the truth that if you appear to be from, if you appear to even appear to be not a juggalo in some way, everybody's so fucking welcoming. Yeah, it's, you know it's, I mean? it's like I, I can't remember where I told this to, but it's like uh, if if you're not a juggler and people can obviously see that. Yeah, it's like um, it's like their goal is to fucking prove to you how fucking dope juggalos are, as right? Right. What assholes, you know? What I'm saying? Yeah, they're trying to turn you out. You yes. know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So so yeah, it's more of that than anything. Yeah, like no, this guy. I do guys. No, say, not like that I fucking guy. All the That's that guy. It's like you know, all we all make mistakes. You, you know what? Fuck that guy. That's what I was <laughs> saying. <laughs> Let me say something cool. about that. He didn't see that shit. He was no, like, "Why you just that guy?" I'm like, yeah. "Because him. it was on." There was something go going uh, juggalo viral, uh -huh. right? We'll call it that. Talking about Shaggy was dissing his fans, <laughs> right? <laughs> He's not a fucking me, fan. That guy's me, an idiot. Let me tell you something about that dude. Yeah. First off, I was never any age. And as big of a fan of anything to fathom doing something stupid like that. Agreed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Number two. And then later to blame it on us and say, fuck ICP. They did <laughs> like it you did it to him. Right. Oh, that's, that's where I was true. super tripping. I was like, man, this guy's a fucking joke. Fuck you in your painted face, dude. <laughs> wow. And he's wondering why you know he can't saying? get jobs and shit. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm having trouble getting hired. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you tattooed right. it you know on your face. Insane Clown Posse didn't tell you to tattoo your face. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're oh. saying. You know what? Listen. He's the only one. <laughs> he's the only dumbass. There's not a fucking grip of people running around like yeah, that. I'll make I'll make it um Listen, there's nothing worse than traitor juggalos. Ooh. Is that what you call it? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because um, I remember one time your brother, rest, uh, rest in peace, shout out to Giant Kick Jazz. He said, um, he, we used to listen to BC Boys like in, oh. in, when they came out. Like, Licensed to Ill. We fucking yeah. loved yeah. it. Loved yeah. it. And a couple, couple, three or four or five years later, he was like, um, man, they suck, man, you know? And I was like, why are you saying that? And he was like, I'm sick of it. And I'm thinking, that don't mean they suck. You yeah, know, yeah. I'll, I'll collaborate you just that a little bit. It. Yeah. Because when the second record came out, it was so different than it the was, first one. I was like, fuck true. that, man. This yeah. shit's so weak. You know, the, what was the second one? Uh, Paul's Boutique. Yeah, I got you. I was just like, this is fucking It's a totally garbage. different. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, now you listen to it, and of and course, like, it's, it's good. It's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But when it came out, I was like, what is this shit? You know, it's not the Beastie Boys. But it's still like, I mean, I don't mean that first record don't exist. Oh, yeah. You know, I went through a phase like that. I was so fucking sick of that record. If it came out, I'm just like, fuck, turn that off. You know, but sure. now you know I, I love that's it again. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's what about what happened. communication? I feel like that was a redeeming album. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, that's oh, after they. Yeah. yeah, that's that after they like, made their big switch. switch. Yeah, right. it was dope. Yeah. In, into like the alternative genre. It yeah. was. The, it was the shit. The way they reinvented themselves. It was incredible. It was, yeah. it was incredible. They're you incredible. Know what I'm no doubt about it. Man. It started I... punk. I just saw a video of them. Like yes. practicing doing their punk shit. Yeah, with like uh, some different drummer. You know, this is one thing. Mike D was singing. This is one thing I don't like, and I'm calling them out. What's that? Um, <laughs> it's time the, to go to war. The two, uh, um, what is it? Um, Adam Young. I already know what you're yeah. going to say. Yeah, and Mike what? D. A, about them like not doing songs. They're like, oh, fuck us back in the day. Um, no. Adam, Adam, they won't do certain songs now. Yeah, they, they, they won't do, uh, they, and they never wanted to do... Fight, fight for, for your right, right to party. party. That's like, come yeah. on, man. That's one career. of your staples. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Because that's the thing you know that's on the match. Right, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's one thing. Okay. But this is what I didn't like. I saw a documentary, and I believe it was put together by Spike Jones, right? Yes. And it was them two on stage in front of a crowd. I saw yeah, it too. I saw that too. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yep. Hearing them diss 
any day on License to Ill. I agree. I know was what you're such say. a fucking bummer. Yeah, I agree. Nobody's mad at you for saying that shit, oh, like bro. Girls and shit He's like, like we got a song called Girls, Girls, Girl, you know, see in the kitchen, girl. I'm like, dude, dude you were laundry. fucking probably 18. <laughs> you were kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Even as a, as a woman, or I, I identify as a woman right now, yeah. I don't... <laughs> I'm not. I was never offended. You go. Well, that, that was a time capsule. In, in that was rap, in the '80s. In rap, the more raunchy towards women, the more the women yeah, loved it. Like Tupac right. Crew, the biggest that's fans right. were broads. That's yeah. right. And that's it was a, also the time, and they right. were young, that's, it, and it was, it was fine. just the times. You know, it was fine. And, 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 and uh, hearing them up there dissing it. And they expect you know, people be like, yeah, you know, that shit's Yeah, because, it, because that they're like, uh, you know, that's they're, all like they're, yeah, they're all peaceful. Well, like, yeah, they're also like, balancing their you know, from Brooklyn and then like, you know, they're, they're, they're coastal guys now. So they're, they're woke and evolved yeah. and they're, yeah, 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 they're yeah, saying yeah. the right thing because yeah. that's what that group says. They're in that bubble and they don't even, you know, <clears throat> realize man, it. Don't, don't regret is, uh. I don't know. No, that part was super gay. I agree. It was, it was gay. It was the gayest part and of the And retarded. Thing. Yeah. And that, yeah. And yeah. you shouldn't apologize for we a We have daughters thing. now. And you're like, shut the yeah, fuck up. No one cares. Well, sing your song. No one gives a shit. Right. Um, every musician is like, they. there's always stories about trashing a hotel room. Have you guys, did you partake in that at some Not point in your career? rock and roll style. I mean, like. Never? No, I mean, I think I broke a bed once. But then, there you go. But then one of our fucking roadie guys came in and fucking fixed it with a... Oh, that's so bad. Nice. charged nice. for it. <laughs> it was like some old-ass hotel in New York, so yeah. like it was all wooden and shit. You know what I'm saying? They would have charged yeah. us out the ass. Yeah. Yeah, other than that, no. We, and on top of that, when we're on the road, we spend more time like in the bus than in the hotel room. Yeah. We, we don't stay at fancy hotels. We're at like the fucking Holiday Inn Express. The bus is just part. We to hang out on the Holiday Inn Express. Right, you, know, you stay on, on the, the bus. On the cum sheets, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Gnarly. No. I mean, speaking of come, did you guys ever go airtight on somebody? What does that mean? Like oh, wow. the two of you and one other oh, person? No, nope. oh, I never, no. I never had with any don't. man. I got, I, I never I got to log that into the <laughs> that's, dictionary. There. That's homosexual. I never heard right. that. You're exactly. naked next to another dude watching his fucking no, face listen. enjoy a hole. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I didn't think about that part. No, that's, no that's well, think about this. Shit, listen, let me put you like this. It's pretty gay. Listen. If that girl yeah. is willing to let you hit it, yeah. yep. right? But it's hotter for you mm -hmm. because he's in it. Yeah. Right. What's going on? Right. right. Like I said, it, gay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Well, right. This, she's this, like, well, you can hit it, here. and you can Listen, hit it, but you're like, you no, let's go after me. me, or we can flip a coin. Right, right. She's down to let us both fucking hit it. Right, right. But, but at the what same the fuck time. I'm not, you know, dude. What am I going to do? Look, stare you in the eye, look at your fuck face? Yeah. yeah. Come fuck on, man. Fuck out of here. Right, you know, he, dude, busting a nut then. like this close to you. Totally. You know what I'm saying? His and nut actually, could get on you. When you're, you know what I'm saying? If, fucking if disgusting. If you're in her V. It. I didn't like my own nut on me. If you're in her V and, and the, your buddy's in her A, you guys actually feel each other oh, through wow. this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, that, yeah. That, and you oh can nut at the same time. And you're kind of nutty. But man, yeah, that's. What about, what about, yeah, I regret doing it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of gay, is using is a man using a straw gay? Using a straw <laughs> in somebody's ass? No, just as a straw. <laughs> yeah, a regular straw. Just a straw with a drink. Is that gay? You know what? I I don't fucking use straws. Man. Well, at a restaurant, I will. You will. Yeah, at a restaurant. Yeah. So context. Yeah, yeah. Context is important. But at home, I don't use straws. Right, but I was like, dude, would you walk out, out of a then store? I get, then I guess when I'm out. At a restaurant, I'm gay. Yeah. That's it. You're I gay so. only there, though. Oh, right, only yeah. there. That's yeah. the only place I'm allowed to be gay. Yeah. I feel the same way at gym showers. So, <laughs> let's see. This is... Uh, I go home. I don't even take a shower at the gym. Wow. We were just Straight talking up. about just that. talking about I won't, even, I won't then, do it. But then hold on. I don't even like going in the locker rooms. But, just Dudes just freely walking out their balls but hanging out. So let's say you go work out. And then they try to sit there mm -hmm. and talk to you. It's like, put your balls away, fella. But that's, why, you know that's why he hated doing uh, WWE. <laughs> yeah, all these naked you know fucks I mean? walking around. Like, we're sitting there okay, in the I can have a conversation with you with your sweatpants on, but they choose to get naked yeah. and then talk. Jared the King Lawler's Jared the King Lawler's balls, yeah, dick and ass, just all hanging, are oh, literally man. three feet away from you. He's talking to somebody else, and you're sitting on a fucking chair, so his dick and balls are just right here, like for real. It's so we, really? in, in the in. They're not even hurrying up or being discreet. Yeah. They're just like, ha, 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 
cracking a joke with a guy yeah. on the other side of the room, yeah. smoking That's a stogie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're, we're, we're right. making no rush. Yeah. Yeah. You so know what, what's the what's the beef with pants? I don't know, or at least underwear. A lot of athletes yeah. are so comfortable in the nude. I, mean, I don't know. They're really it's like un, uh, it's, it's something. I don't. I don't even walk around my house naked. Maybe because they're just physical specimens. There so should they're be so a, used a to, name for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For that yeah. kind of athlete. Fucking weirdo. Like you know, they call somebody or something. Yeah. Yeah. There's it's a little swishy. It's a little always swishy. Always wanting to be naked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. They got places for people like certain that. athletes. Yeah. Always wanting to be shit. naked. You know, when when I do wrestling, man, I literally went into an abandoned closet. Yeah, you go in a fucking stall and change or something. <laughs> man, I didn't. Know, man, I was like, I didn't know where everybody was changing. I'm like, I ain't about to stare around and see if everybody's naked. And you know what's the naked. grossest shit ever? Yeah. Like these naked motherfuckers sitting on a bench. Like yeah, the balls, are, and then I'm supposed to on sit the, down. I know, put a towel with down at balls, least. Yeah, you know? I agree. And then being naked and sitting where he just was naked, that's got that's you can transmit STDs. No, dude, the I, whole I, world I, is something. gay. You know. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. I think you can get AIDS that way. Uh, probably. Yeah, the towels have AIDS in them. Yeah, big deal. Yes, yes, they do. For sure. I know. If you share a towel with a with a G, uh, absolutely. Yeah, or a J, <laughs> you get something right. Something. Where are you sitting naked next to dudes? I'm not. That's what I'm saying. No, it's like if you go to a gym locker room, right? There's always naked motherfuckers sitting. I'm saying if he gets up oh. and then somebody sits down, where the fuck I'm sitting next naked to dudes? I'm like, I, I, was, I thought you meant like in a sauna or something. I'm like, are you, oh, you go to the spa? Or that's something? another one where it gets weird. I've been <laughs> in saunas yeah. at the gym, and I'm then like, there's a the, guy who purposely, yeah, for what? You know, takes the towel off, starts oh, playing with his nuts. Towels. I yeah. was like, have you been going to a men's spa or something? <laughs> yeah, a Russian spitster, or whatever they're called. And then they start chatting you up. How's it going? You're like, just fucking, just sit there, man. Right, you're it's naked. It's 160 degrees. Right. Yeah. Just don't talk to me. <laughs> so you guys have a story that I don't think a lot, like everyone's aware of. That's kind of like it's pretty incredible, <clears throat> which is regarding the FBI. Yeah, oh, yeah. Then, like so, for people that don't know, you were. How do you find out that you're being labeled a gang? Well, in, in 2011, the FBI, all the stores drop your shit. You really? <laughs> pull all your merchandise and shit. Really? Like, is it, oh, yeah. for, for the first uh, uh, in 2011, for the first time ever, the FBI released a um, thing called the uh, FBI's Gang Assessment Threat List. Right, mm -hmm. and it was like the Bloods, Cribs, MM's Thirteen, Juggalos, yeah, Ar Aryan, <laughs> Blue Aryan, Aryan Nation, Juggalos. <laughs> At the very first, that's we were so like, we were like, crazy. at very first, we were like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's tight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We were bragging about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not, not until we, we understood the ramifications of this shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When number one, before we even fall out, hit Juggalos, you know, all of a sudden, instantly, Hot Topics and Spencer's weren't carrying our shit no more. So a lot of stores just dropped our shit. And is that like a slow roll? <laughs> like, do you find out, like, does somebody go, oh, hey, just so you know, Hot Topic is no longer caring, and you're like, wait, oh, no, what? Oh, yeah, no, it, it was it like, was just um, sudden. boom, done. Yeah, 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 it yeah. took a minute to realize it's so old. Because, because it's now gang apparel. Yeah. Right. So if it's, and here goes the most, fu most fucked up part. You take, okay, just like, let's say fucking butthole o Oklahoma, okay, mm -hmm. just the middle of nowhere, Yeah. where it's just a mall with a hot topic. That's, that's the only way little kids go to the mall and get their clothes sure. and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, cool, there goes an ICP shirt, puts it on, they get pulled over on the way home from the mall. The mom, who knows, you know what I'm saying? Texting, whatever, gets pulled over. This kid's going to get treated like a fucking gang member. You know what mm. I'm saying? It's insane. It's yeah. real shit. It's affecting people from joining the army, from custody cases, from... They get charged as gang members now. You know, you get pinched with... We always say you get pinched with weed. Now it's a trumped up charge because sure. you're a gang. You're a gang member. Because you got an ICP shit How on. long does it take from being... Learning that, you know, you're on the list... Hey, you know, it's cool at first to like, hey, we need to actually do something about this. How long does that take? Well, you know, probably it, it wasn't that wasn't right away because we started learning about all the sure. bullshit that was going yeah, down. Yeah, we just, um, I think it was like four, what was it like? What well, we did in 2000, no, that's yeah, when, when was the March. When was that? And the March was Where in you? 2017. Okay, yeah. But so, uh, we su started suing them probably four years after. Four yeah. years after, okay, yeah. yeah, because we started to see the ramifications. Yeah, and we weren't you know even really. So we were just, we were just going to court to get our the name off of that fucking list, mm. right? You know what I mean? Yeah. We weren't suing them it, for they, nothing. It, you know? They never released. A we list were going if we won, though. Oh, that was it. That, they never released a list again. 
But they never went back and said our bad. That was you know that did was it. nothing. They never said. Did that you was, ever get an explanation as to no what my, what qualified you for be to be on that list? Oh, absolutely, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what I, was I, what was the reason? Well, you got to think <laughs> about it. If, if, if you're in fucking Omaha, Nebraska, right, and you're having a um, seventy five motherfuckers are meeting at a, uh, 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 some park having a big ass barbecue, right? And they're all wearing the same shit. Yep. They all got this on. You know what I mean? P- these police can say that's a gang, right? And 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 by saying that, they actually get extra funding to fight gangs. To oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah. So now you got all these rural areas where all these it's juggalos like, live in the middle. Like getting into football. You know what I'm saying? There's tons of people wearing the same jerseys. Right. Yeah. So then they're that's fucking a wild the fuck out, getting all blue out. But that's the thing, though. Don't you have to actually do an illegal activity as a group to be construed as a, as a group, gang? You would think. Yeah. I mean, there there are people that are juggalos that do fucking insanely fucking dangerous shit. Yeah. You know? Sure. There's criminals in Beheading every group. People, all that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? But. People who listen to Taylor Swift murder people and dismember them. Probably you know, more. So yeah, 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 so yeah, she got a billion fans. When you're talking you know? about the masses, yeah. you know what I mean? It's going to be in there. There's going to be pe- people that are crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of Taylor Swift. Yeah. What music do you guys listen to that you would be kind of afraid to admit to? What's your guilty? I ain't, What's your guilty I ain't afraid to admit nothing. Guilty, you know what? Nothing. What's the gayest thing you listen to? L- listen. Like, yeah, and make coming it up, Coming up. I, I always like I was a fucking soldier on this shit. Fuck country music. Yeah. I was like, if you listen to country, fuck you. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck country, this and that. You know what I'm saying? But as I got older, I, I still don't like. I won't buy country. I don't just sit there and listen to it. But I learned to appreciate it yeah. because the songwriting. Because I don't have a license, so my wife drives everywhere. You don't have sure. a license? Come on, man. No. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't but, want one? No, I'm, I'm trying to get it back right now. Okay. I haven't had one for fucking years. Okay. But so I'm always in the passenger seat, and you know that fucking rule. The driver gets to listen to their shit. My yeah. wife likes country music. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I've listened to a lot of country music. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, now Beyonce is fucking doing it in all kinds of That's fucking That's right. Yeah. yeah. Their song's good, too. She's yeah. super talented. She's Beyonce, of Jelly course, Roll. You know? Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Right there you go. Jelly Roll's but the shit. I, I, I can, like appreciate it as music and, and I can see why it sells the amount it does and I could I could see all that now, you know, because I actually like broke it down, analyzed it. As a musician, I understand it, you know. Mm-hmm. And I don't mind it when it's on now. It, some songs I like. I can't tell you which ones, but they come on, I'll be like that one. That's a good mm-hmm. one, yeah. What yeah. about you? What about you? I'm literally my favorite shit is grunge. Really? Wow, yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah. And you know like shit like Pearl Jam Smashing Pumpkins. That was what you're really Alice in Chains. Growing up, you were really into it. Um, oh, back in well, the day, right now, you were. right now too. Okay, but I, like I, I'd say right man, now, he knows yeah. every lyric to every Pearl Jam record and really? all that. Oh, yeah. Have yeah, you man. seen them live? Uh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, several times. But they suck. They suck live. Mm. Uh, listen, nowadays, I don't know. Just listen, just I don't know. Look, gets drunk on wine and sings. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like. You know, they, they don't that guy used to swing around from the rafters. I know? don't know. It's cool. It's just a big sing along. Uh, you know what I mean? But they, they don't put any effort in the show. Really? Okay. I don't know. You know, the, the lights stay the same. Mm. There's the no venue. production in it. Well, that, that's their saying? gimmick. Yeah. Is no gimmick. And, you know, we're and cool. they're just we're on just stage. No. You know, and there's like there may be like a little sort of set, if anything, or just certain funky lights hanging in front of them. And they're like, we're but getting just, all this just money. We ain't spending like, shit like on you're all in a big ass sad. bar. You yeah. know what I mean? And I think they do that on purpose. Yeah, to get paid. Yeah, yeah that. <laughs> you I, know how much those stages cost and those arenas and shit. You know, you know, we always say every band has a gimmick, right? Yeah. And and. and it, what I mean is like a strong identity. Yeah. It, you know. And like you guys definitely have a strong oh, identity. Oh, no question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, 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 and uh, Pearl Jam's gimmick is they don't have a gimmick. Right. You get it? Yes. That's their gimmick. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? It's just straight like up. they don't make I videos. Feel. We're not out here for the appearance, you know. But they're mega stars. Yeah, they're huge stars. So that they they too have an identity. Right, that's very grunge to be right. against the grain. Exactly. They know identity is still an identity. That's exactly. right. Yes. <laughs> right. right. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's um, what? Who did I just? Oh, I just went and saw Government Mule. Do you know who that is? No. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. Warren yeah, Hanks. I heard like the he's name, basically though. like uh, I guess you would say uh, uh, from the family of the Almond Brothers, right? Like that style of music. It was mm-hmm. at ACL here. It was amazing. It's fucking unbelievable. 
Like he's an incredible guitar player, incredible singer. So it has like that Southern rock kind of vibe. Listen, mm. we, 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 you know, we talk about gimmicks. There was a time me and Joey were doing a photo shoot with Jack White. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And um, we're hanging out with him. We did a song with him. You know what I mean? It's crazy. We don't know how this happened. <laughs> yeah, he got all us. We're like, what the fuck are we doing? doing we're a song at his with house Jack White? in the studio doing a song with him. Yeah. And then I believe the next day we went to his um, Third Man Third Man Records Third in Man Nashville. Records? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And um, so we're there to do a photo shoot. So we're talking to him. What's up? What's up? And then we both go in the, into the bathroom. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? That's how he started. It's like dressing room. Right <laughs> it's it's like a dressing room, right? And we're chilling. And we're putting our paint on, right? Mm-hmm. And he's getting his black outfit. Powder, oh, sure. making his face all creamy you white. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> getting his shit together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get my point? Yeah, yeah. Now, who the fuck would say Jack White is a gimmick? Right. right. Nobody. Right. Yeah. Or he's but he was making you know, himself Jack White. Everybody, of everybody, of everybody, everybody who Everyone's, performs has. Yeah. He's got a persona. Yeah. And it was dope, though. Of course. Because you know, sure. it made me feel like. Why are we so clown all the time for being clowns? <laughs> well, and my, I might add, by the point. way, the irony is crazy. that Shaggy... Just, yours is just a more overt version of something, right? Yeah, he's like, not supposed to, like, you're not supposed to know he puts powder on his face. Exactly. That's shit, just right? like, yeah. it's just, his is like, just 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 disguised a little, right? a little more subtle. But might right? I add the skill level that these guys have with their makeup? I remember the first time we met you, Shaggy, you came into our studio in Reseda, the old, am I allowed to say Reseda? Yeah. Yeah. And Rosita, and you were, you came in fresh faced, and then you're like, you go, hold on, I'll be right back. And it took you about five minutes to get this on. Yeah, that's and impressive. As a former goth, as somebody that did pretty theatrical makeup, I'm <laughs> amazed at your look at your level of detail, both of you. Thirty years of doing this shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Thirty three. It's yeah. miraculous how you put yourselves together, so that, and you do this still. Take yeah, you like five minutes if you want to. Like, you know, hey, it's gonna look like it. shittier. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Like to, to get it look because it might straight, take like, five turn. minutes, but it feels depends like upon it's... the situation. You know, if you're like fuck, 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 you know, I yeah. can do it in the car, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Where you're driving on a dirt road, I can get this shit on. You know, really? What I'm yeah, easy. Looks great. Yeah, yeah it depends upon just... what kind of pressure you're under. Yeah, you know for I mean? sure. Because I I got this shit on at least half the week. You know what I'm saying? But an ideal amount of time is probably 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. How do you feel about clowns in general? I don't give a I fuck about them. Yeah. You do? I don't give a fuck about them either way. Yeah. Do you like, did you like Joker? Did you like the movie? Oh my God. That's oh, the actual them. movie? The newest yeah, that, one? Well, there's... Well, the one with Jacqueline Phoenix or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was fucking insanely that good. That was like... That was I watched like, it like back to back twice. Like, holy shit, man. Yeah. That, that was <laughs> like really oh, one of the, easily one of the top three from like, movies I ever saw. Yeah. Like, having mental illness and watching that shit. Yeah. Holy fuck, I was like, I understand this guy. Yeah, right? That's what I said. It's a really, really good depiction. Yeah. Of mental illness, yeah, like not that much, but but yeah, you can see how someone can go that way, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was great, and they're made, they got part two coming out, right? Yeah, it's coming with out. Lady Gaga. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not going to be as good as part the first two's one. coming out. Yeah, there's a yeah. second one coming out. Yeah, didn't he die? No, no. he just shot Robert De Niro in the face. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I will <laughs> do. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Part two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a. It's going to be a it's, huge. But it's got to be a different Joker, right? No, no. It's, it's like the continued story. He broke out or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. No, He's the, the Joker. The he breaks out of jail. Same, same guy. guy. Same guy. River oh Phoenix is good. I'm still yes. on River Phoenix. Oh, oh, I can't even fucking believe that. Yeah, no. yeah. No, he's on. He's I did unreal. Not know that. Yeah. Yeah. That movie impacted me like a fucking hurricane. Really? Yes. Why? How so? It was just so fucking. In the beginning, the whole story in the beginning about him, you know, losing it and Kept slowly breaking, breaking and everything. Down. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Fuck, man. It was very impacting. You know. That was the like, whoever wrote that had to, you know, saying suffer from some type of mental that's illness. That's Todd Phillips, the same guy that did The Hangover. Did oh that really? Movie. Yeah. And Gigi Allen's yeah. documentary, Hated. He did Gigi. Oh, Allen. Are you serious? Allen. It's the same director. I'm getting this. Same director. <laughs> oh, Gigi Allen. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Same Gigi guy that directed so Joker. The best worst. Directed The Hangover no, and directed good. Joker. <laughs> Just the worst. worst. And directed Hated also. Yeah. That is so fucking dope. Yeah, he's, to he's hear wild. he became a success like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's an, he's a man. You remember dog. tripping off that documentary? The whole <laughs> what, world does. What documentary? We're talking about Gigi Allen. I didn't even hear <laughs> yeah, yeah. shit going on. The Gigi Allen documentary. Oh, it. Yeah, I yeah. fucking get that. If there's a hell, yeah. Yeah. that guy's for sure there. <laughs> Marrying the hardest say. fuck. That guy's fuck him. So <laughs> good. Cuts and poop don't mix. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. Remember when he shoves a banana in his ass yeah. at the school yes. function? He's yeah. at NYU, I think. Yeah, it was the yeah. best. Yeah, but that's what really got me into that whole genre: documentary weirdos. Gigi Allen was one of my first love of weirdos. So he's right there. He's right next to you, Shaggy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's sweet. right there. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and Gigi. Yeah. Speaking of Gigi and penises and everything. Sure. What did Gigi I got for? a bunch of messages that people are making appointments to get their injections. We You're had the, kidding. Yeah. Penis injections? Yeah, yeah. We had this guy from Fallowfill come in and um, they, they have stores all over the country now and, and people are adding uh uh it's like you know people get botox in their face yeah they're getting that in their dick and it's, it's getting so it just makes botox. your dick fatter but fatter. not longer right exactly <laughs> yeah. so you got filler big, in fatty. your dick Fill, huh. dick filler yeah, yeah. yeah. nah don't yeah. need it yeah well so it's just like a little tree every... stump chilling exactly <laughs> exactly right. yeah quarter inch at a time super chode yeah. right yeah. but he said it adds hang because it makes it yeah weightier yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> more beefy. It's mm-hmm. a beefier, yeah, rounder uh, tuna can. Yeah. Sweet. Where can I get a hold of this guy? <laughs> uh, we have his information. Fell. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll pass it on to you pretty tuna soon here. Can. What do I have here? This I'm is always sitting uh, on my balls enough. I don't need no injection. You sit That's on your balls? True. My balls are always in the way. Do you have huge hangy balls? I do. Really? Yeah. They're always in the way. They're always sticking to my leg or Dipping I'm sitting in the on toilet them. water. Oh, I wow. need to get a ball lift. It's probably the smartest. Oh, I wonder side. if you You know can. what I tried before? They're going to keep hanging, bro. I know. I've been wearing boxer drawers since. I was like fucking elementary school. So well, hold on. That. Well, have you tried the tighter tighty whities Maybe yeah, to keep I, them supported. I, I can't do it. I can't have my nuts Too being hugged on. Yeah. I try these drawers mm. just for the fuck of it. And like they separate your dick and balls. Mm-hmm. Like your dick goes into a pouch and your balls go into a separate pouch. Yeah. Fucking weird, man. Yeah. My- <laughs> I'm telling you, they work. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like, for me. Who yeah. makes that? Who makes the separate? Uh, there's a couple different companies really? that make them. Yeah, I separate forget the name the of stuff. them. Did that yeah. help your your sitting problem? It did. Oh, okay. So but I chose shy. not to wear them. I'd rather sit on my balls and wear, <laughs> wear those <laughs> things. They're just too weird. <laughs> yeah. Don't, I don't like the way that feels, just hugging all up sure. on my shit, you know? Yeah. You're um, right. It's not going to get better with age. No, it's, Most it's things like don't. titties, you know, yeah. balls. Oh, they call them are... stretch nerves since right. the nineties. But titties are very easy to fix. I don't think balls are as easy to fix as titties. You I can't imagine they should have. Implant. They should have ball. They have implants, uh, but they should have ball lifts. That would be interesting. Yeah, but you know, if I was doing like full frontal nudity, I'd probably give a shit. Yeah, you know, Man, if I had that fucking problem, I'd wear short shorts. Like fuck it. Oh, if, I, if I were some of those Bruce Jenner boys, I'm not in trouble for that. Yeah. That's me. That's something I got to deal with. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm not. I let, I'm too hot. I'm hot. Yeah, that's why I got short shorts on. Yeah, you know what I mean. And they're hanging you. out the side. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's like this is where I was born. I can't. It's <laughs> right. a fucking. Yeah, that's not like medical fucking, deficiency. Right. What do you call thing that? That's not exposure. What do they call that? Indecent exposure. Indecent yeah. exposure. Your ball, you know, I was on an airplane the other day, and there was a fucking old man walking on the highway. Man, he was so fucking awesome. His whole ass was hanging out. Oh, whole fucking ass. And somebody was like, "Um, excuse me, sir, your pants are falling on." He's like, "I know," and just kept walking. I was that's, like, "That's, that's, that's, that's the jaded. comfort, go, man." An old man. Just Hell yeah, duck, he didn't give really... a fuck. It was great. Hey, there's an art to not giving a fuck. Mm-hmm. Big time. Do you know? Um, can you put those like around the back or something so I can show you something? The the cans. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you know who's coming in tomorrow. I just wanted to show them. <gasps> This guy's coming in tomorrow. What an insane week we're I know. with guests. Oh. My goodness. This guy. Oh my, what the fuck is this? Keep watching. Keep your eyes open. I don't know if I want to. Uh, Keep yeah. watching. Oh, no, but he's, oh, he's, he's, yeah. he's, uh, no. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. Uh, he's coming in tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, 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 he's still uh, fine. Well, he's, he, sorry, that was the wrong video. Hold on, there's one more. There's a. Uh, no, not yeah. that guy. Sorry, yeah. this is the wrong video. Yeah, that was the wrong thing here. That's the worstest thing I ever fucking watched. <laughs> what? Is that guy's coming into my office. Like, I was in a peep show booth in Manhattan or in Times Square in the 90s, and I seen the fucking illest shit ever. That shit. That's pretty wild. Oh, my God. This is this is really how we discovered him. In this episode of What Does the Wild Naked Man Drink, his I'm going to fill this own. beautiful <laughs> mason jar with my beautiful Orin, which is Orin. medicinal. It's medicinal. Especially after some amazing working That's out. That's not half as bad as what he did the first time. Yeah, the first time was that was a little much. But why would you do that for? He it's says a form it. of biofeedback, and it's a form what, of self-love. When that? I drink my own piss, well, 
We'll tell you why. I get this enhanced benefit of self approval and self acceptance. From and really, that's all. Yeah. From himself? There is. So, no wonder the yogis have been doing it for over 5,000 years. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I, yeah. That's just going like, to that for for us... give me bad dreams tonight. <laughs> really? Especially that first one. Yeah, that first one's a lot. Yeah, that's... That's, that took me a week to get out of my head. Yeah. yeah it's but now you can just watch it and it's just right out? Yeah. <laughs> is it, he it, really coming uh, in? He's coming yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Is he going to do that for you guys? I, I don't know. I mean, Are he's, you going to let him if he wants to? He teaches like. Uh, on the table right here? He teaches like cock workshops. and um, What does that consist of? A cock workshop? You know. Um, there's and like that, who the fuck's paying this debt for that? Yeah, like this kind of stuff. This kind of so stuff. in my in my this live place, workshops, it's a fucking locker room. We do a locker room in a gym. Exercise. Some of these guys are actually in shape. It's Hold on, like guys, guys, be open minded. This is a men's retreat. It's a way to build your masculinity, <laughs> grow your testosterone. Everybody's got wrestling rangers. And does so really one of the work? reasons why I am single is because I'm a double soul shaman. And in ancient cultures, I would have been the one that the quote unquote straight dudes would have gone to for healing especially healing. sexual healing when their wives were on their periods. It's not that the women were dirty when they were menstruating. It was that they were too powerful for the alphas, stag dudes, the warrior dudes, who usually had many, many wives and many, many babies to be around. So they would go to somebody like me for sexual healing, and I would help them sharpen their masculine essence. He looks like he'd do that. Yeah, he does a lot of stuff so like does. this. So yeah, he looks yeah. like he'd jack a dude off with the quickness. But he would do it <laughs> the with the spin of this is not... Gay. I'm just here to help you heal your right. Soul. If you want to be yeah. real, he can tell that to his boyfriend all he likes. You yeah, know, if he believes on me. He said that the ancient warriors, like the Spartans and and the uh, samurai, would uh, suck each other's nipples and and. Ball. I thought they would just jack off in their own mouths. He well, he <laughs> he does that too. <laughs> oh, okay. but he says that it's like that's what like warriors would do. And ball cupping. Each, ball have you, cupping. You guys have never cupped each other's balls before a show to grow your masculine. <laughs> that's how, that's what, like a little prayer well, before we go on stage. Cap depths. Before we go yeah. on stage, we you know cup each other's balls. Yeah, you know, that's we what cap depths. We cap depths. We dab the cap, See? you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. This is it's what like he's a, a promoting. Dab. Yeah, it's like a dab. Yeah. yeah. And look, he gets his eyebrows threaded. Dude, he, he does. looks You know what I'm saying? Even. So don't tell me that he doesn't enjoy penis. Yeah. He looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. But look how healthy his skin is. He looks very healthy. This one, this next one, there's nothing gross in it. Was it, it isn't like male nut good for skin? Yes. Yeah, see? He's That's got what he beautiful knows. Skin. His skin's incredible. Right. But he has this, like, here and this one, he goes. I find it so cute it's and funny. Good. And kind of annoying that so many modern men's work leaders base their branding off of like Spartan culture and they call it the modern warrior journal or, you know, we're the, we're the samurai brotherhood, you know, <laughs> uh, yes, they never get naked. They never do they never ball cupping dude, rituals. Just, they yeah. never see each form. other's cocks. Yeah. The oh. outermost extension of each other's hearts are completely hidden oh, by wow. their Lululemon polyester when really they could be leeching good high vibrational See. brotherhood vibrations into each other's ball sacks through cupping I see, which like, is some exactly shit, what like, the from Spartans Africa, did. where like some tribe does that they'll grab See? each other's dicks and call each other down. so no, that's now you're getting that's it that's the warriors in the shit that's the warriors yeah okay yeah. so we're gonna learn all about this tomorrow <laughs> Well, wait, you know. <laughs> all these motherfuckers are on? Oh, is that the same guy that jacked that's up in his a, own that's mouth? A, that's, that's him. That's, that's the same guy. Oh, the okay, same he guy. looked a little different in the other one. Yeah, he yeah. lost some weight in this one. That's for, right. what it, for what it's worth, you know, chimps and gorillas. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They when when there's tension or fight breaking out or something, they cup each other's balls. Yeah, like monkeys. When they do. when they get when they break it up from the fight, they let each other they try to let each other know it's okay by cupping yeah, each comforting. other's balls. You know what see, I mean? Like, okay, see, it's yeah. over. So this is like when I was a kid, went, you know? You see how this <laughs> exactly. guy works, but you right. see how the shaman works on you? At first it was no, that's gay, this is repulsive. Oh no, too. it still is. But yeah, now yeah. you're convincing. Oh, no. no. I'm not convinced. I'm <laughs> trying to say we should maybe think about going. Yeah, go ahead. You tell me about it to the retreat. <laughs> I'll, I'll listen to you. I'll listen to your report. You know what? What we could actually You'll come back a fierce warrior. We could actually have him come to you if you want. There and, you go. Uh, you could do a workshop, do a house call. Yeah, cock a, shop. What's it called? I'm gonna take yeah. what uh, all the records told us, but record labels told us back in the day. I'm gonna take the pass option on. Yeah. That. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna take that pass. Right, I just wanted okay. to show you what's the happening. best option, especially Christine, when it comes to. Christine, do you want to show him? Um, yeah. Your these guys, your talks. These are my TikToks. I don't know if you've been on that platform before, but I like to feature the outliers of TikTok, not the people dancing or singing normal songs. These are these are the marginalized communities. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, you're going to want those. You didn't buddy. find this guy from a... <laughs> he was, he was from the mainstream this TikTok. Was, this was from uh, Zolo sourcing. Oh, so this gentleman, you guys are familiar like super villain. with tattoos. He got his entire face and neck tattooed out, blacked out. Oh, he's been, Machine Gun Kelly in him, Yeah, huh? yeah, exactly. Yeah. So oh, this, wow. Wow. This guy's been making the rounds on Any? the talk. What do you oh think? So is he God. getting the backlash for doing the blackface? Huh? Yes. Is yeah, he? a little bit. I don't know. That's that's not even. What's your take on this guy? Is this okay? I uh, love it. Looks great. Looks great. Holy Looks great. Holy shit! Yeah, he's gonna regret that in a couple of years. You think so? Nah. Him and that guy with the eye paint oh. is gonna link I mean, up. He's, he's got to do the eyes next, right? He's yeah, gotta do, do that in prison. Way. Don't be a yeah. bitch. I, mean, I also think there's gonna be a hiring problem with this gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> what, why? Yeah, he probably works from home. Dude, yeah. the eyelids, bro. He even did the eyelids. That's yeah. the crazy part. Like, also, what, okay, he's definitely like not sane. No, no. A sane person wouldn't that, do this that. This is a PE teacher. Yeah, guy. no, he looks like a bowling ball. Works in my kid's school. Also, no. it's like, isn't this a little bit of a? No. You, know, you don't know this guy? <laughs> Come on, that's no, Rick. He... You don't know Rick? <laughs> oh, Rick, yeah, Rick, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's great with kids. You wouldn't think so, but he's really. Yeah, he's Works a basketball a... coach. The local. High school. <laughs> isn't there some? Isn't there a line that a tattoo artist should be like, "Yeah, I'm not doing that." I agree. Man, like, you find a big enough scumbag, they don't give a just, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because no, no. this is hours of work, I imagine. Yeah. To fill in the eyes, the nose. The I got lips. like a huge thing on my back. It's not blacked out by no means. Yeah. And it was like eight hours with three guys at once, and then another oh. eight hours with three guys at once, and it can't come close to his shit. This is insane. So he was, is... shit. He was in there for a while. <laughs> they big, you know what they do nowadays? They'll actually put you under if you get a big enough. Is tattoo. that they did to you? No, uh, no, no. I just got really drunk. Okay, but but, uh, but yeah, they'll they'll put you under. Eight, what, what is it? What is it? It's of? just like a big like fucking. You know, like when people had the cool tribal shit, yeah, like, huge back like piece. Yeah, cool. it's just like a big like cross uh, all over my back. Wow. Wow. Uh, well, good, good. Wait, way to start it hey, off. Hey, starting strong. Cool. Yeah. Reasons our adventure has been temporarily interrupted. Oh, we hope to be back in operation very soon. This is a small world. Oh, bro, Disneyland. That's right. So, is this with the guy? There? No. So this is apropos our discussion of crazy stuff happening on small one, small world. <laughs> so the ride got stopped and this mother decided to take things in her own hands and like evacuate her kids from the ride. Oh, she's not it's a foreign mom. She's not why. English, right? Yeah. She's not American. Foreign mom says that's how they do Czechoslovakia. Yeah. She's like, we're leaving. Later. She's French. How many kids she got? Yeah, exactly. That's why. That's like the term kid she pulled off with her. Mad mom respect. She's like, fuck this, we're out of here. <laughs> I agree. Because it just stopped running? It just stopped running, but I don't know for how long she was stranded. Oh, yeah, that place is full of cameras, like no security yet. <laughs> it's like, it's right. Exactly. That's the crazy bit. Yeah, because there was the guy that got naked on yes. you know about Oh, that. yeah, I see yeah. streaked all in the back yeah. of it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> no, I didn't stop. This I thought was just cool. <laughs> Okay. That horse just the horse just wanted to get in there. Fuck that shit That's up. That's pretty cool. That was dope. Yeah, yeah. right. And then he just oh, oh, so oh, there would have been the something in there. It, okay, it what wanted, country? Yeah, you know what I mean, like look at that fucking sidewalk. Food or th- or that sidewalk is a mosaic sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck? That's got to be somewhere in the Middle East, no? Definitely. Somewhere or Latin America, maybe. I don't know. Boy, he just back kicked it. They that, kicked the shit out of that. That yeah. thing was like later. Man, they're so fucking. You imagine that That's thing That's some kicks good glass, you? though. That you didn't even go through it. Yeah. Knocked it out in one piece. Hmm. Could you really? imagine getting kicked by that animal? Yeah, I can. <laughs> you ever see people get kicked in the face by a horse? It's yes. so funny. Oh, it's, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny and it's over. They're always doing something dumb and they catch yeah. a hot one right quick to the it, face. It's fucking over after that. <laughs> oh, man. Breaking news. Eric Drogan said, I'm incompetent to stand trial. They're going to have to drop the charges. That's good. You think? No longer have to go to court. Yeah, that is cool. But on what, the what bright do? side, <laughs> you can't. So that's good. Okay. <laughs> well, I wonder what, what, what crime did he commit? Uh, hopefully, a serious one. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no. Okay, he's wearing a Kentucky hat. Yeah. But he's wearing a Kentucky hat. Okay. The best part of this. Oh my god. Is the, that's gonna go viral. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> that's gonna go fucking viral. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> but I get it now. 
the <laughs> 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 This really tickled oh, Violin J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. The best part is goes. This is so funny. Oh, it's breaking not done. breaking no, news. Oh, yeah. I'm incompetent to stand trial. Yay. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't type that. So you know, he, how dude. would he even know how to spell all yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. That's true. He can't no longer he have to go to court. Yeah. Yeah. I can't spell that. He can't even oh, see the letters. Shit. What are we talking about? Look at those eyes. real, man. Come on, kid. Yeah, he's got shit on his mouth. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Breaking news. I'm incompetent to stay on trial. <laughs> I want to know what the fuck he did. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I, I don't think it's, he, a, I don't think it's petty uh, theft. No, 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 I think it has something to do. He's fucking yeah. on the offender list. Yeah, okay. yes. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's no <laughs> question. Mm-hmm. That's oh, a sexual shit. offense. That guy's not competent to order breakfast. I can't imagine <laughs> what the fuck. He did. <laughs> that, that they're no longer pressing charges with. <laughs> What's the easiest way to get out of jury duty? Tell us you don't want to be there. Just say, I don't want to be here. I can't be fair. I know one of the issues involved. And I'm not going to, I just don't want to be here. That's what you say. And people will say it. They will make it so crystal clear that I don't want to be here. And guess what? If you don't want to be here, the lawyers don't want you there. We're going to let you go. Hey, yeah, good. so little known secret uh, is that lawyers do, in fact, right, pick their juries. So he's right. The lawyer has to pick you because you would be favorable yep. to the winning of their case. So if you just go straight up, I don't want to fucking be here. I hate all this shit. Then hmm. I'd be like, yeah, go. Yeah. My anyway, wife just useful. Got jury duty shit. Really? Yeah, it's all fucked up. Get, she had a call every day. And yeah, shit, it's shit, such shit. a waste of I'm time. Like, that sucks, man. It sucks. Man, that, that, in that situation, it's, you did? it's good oh, having yeah. a felony. How'd it go? It was it was kind of fresh. You did yeah. jury <laughs> duty? You know what I'm saying? No, I had jury duty. You went and saw a case? No, hear me oh, out. Oh, okay. So so uh, I had to go down there, right? <laughs> and um, it was in a room full of other, other people getting the bone, basically. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Sitting there all day. You know, just uh, and uh, but it was I was hoping I would get picked. I wanted to fucking go through the you know the experience. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. And um, so I made it to like the like to to like probably more than half the people. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. an elimination tournament. Yeah, and basically, you know, and um, it was probably down to like I would say fifteen. I was and I was booted. You got booted. Oh. Yeah, three more. He would have been in. Been, yeah, you're so been. close. You know, right? I was just like, fuck, you know, because, man, I, I waited all fucking day, and you had to get there at the fucking That would be cool again, like a murder dog. trial or something. Ryan Sickler, our friend, the comedian, got a major crime. He got a jury duty, and he ended up on a trial for uh, gang drug trafficking murder, like Ooh. like a yeah, major he, case. He probably really? they, yeah, In L.A., he, yeah. He probably, who knows, maybe somebody had a talk with him. Yeah. <laughs> You know yeah. He said one time they were like, you know, he had to address the court and then the court repeats like your name and address. Oh, and he was fuck, like, man. They Stop doxed him my address. Yeah, called. they doxed him in, in, at, at the trial. He's like, Jesus Christ, don't give my address out yeah, to these fucking anonymous. guys. They shouldn't even be in the room. I don't know if you all know this, but you can actually go to your public library, any library. Why he got his head on and actually guy's body in the corner. Request that is them to knows. order copies of my books. That's him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's romance um, novel. Yeah. Don I don't know about pastors eat meow too, but I definitely know that you could probably get Old Thought Next Door and <laughs> this whole guy roaches in her crib in your local library. <laughs> just All you have to do is just go to your <laughs> local library talk to one of the librarians or the receptionist and put in an order and they'll probably order like two or three copies. And you can also borrow the audio book. We got to get the audio yeah. book. Uh, I know it's trying to be silly, but like, is there so, like fucking actually romance novels at the library? Have you ever, do you know what? Yeah, I guess there are, but this is like, it's really, really crazy sexual stuff. Like, No, it, listen yeah. to me. That's not real. Oh, it's old no, it yeah, is. We it have is. the books here. We have it. We have these books. We have Old Thought Next copy. Door. And we, pastors eat pussy too. We have that. Plane. Yeah. Listen, hold on a minute. <laughs> we have There's the gotta be a market for That's that, a whole you know? fucking like, book market. like this. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, hold on a minute. For I'm going to tell you what novel. this is. I'm going to tell you what this is. <laughs> this is like what I like to watch all the time. Of course. Which is UFO footage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bigfoot footage. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A bunch of shit that looks so fucking unbelievably, deniably real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because nobody is buying that book. Look, look yeah. but we did. They did. And it's huge on three Amazon. Co- just like you said, two or yeah. three copies. We have Old Thought next door. Go look ahead. The, look at the size Hold of those. I have never been schooled harder in my life, <laughs> right? Oh, my God. You just blew yeah. my wig off my head. Pastor <laughs> Pussy, too? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Quan Mills. But right after I say it, they drop it in my face. <laughs> yeah, well, man. Well, this one's normal. Give me Old yeah. Thought. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Can you just open up to a random page? Uh-oh. Or he's gimmicked up or something. No, Pastors no, no. eat pussy too. Is pretty just great. Just pull up a page. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah, man. What am I doing with it now? Let's let's, let's see, see what let's see what let's the see what, what the, the fuck is going on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Tremolo's Ben sped into a parking lot of Morning Star like an angry. I, I can't. I ain't no, got my no, glasses. No. Oh, yeah, read yeah. read Pastors eat pussy or old you. thought. Do old thought. You have brain cancer, huh? <laughs> my face twists with confusion. I had to have him repeat what he just said. I knew he didn't say what I thought he said. Yes, Mrs. Washington, unfortunately, we suspect you have brain cancer. I want to get to a sex part. That's yeah, exactly. All That's yeah. Yeah. There's plenty oh, in there. So what? I thought he was asking for sex. I was a crazy assumption. Yeah. But y'all already know how men be. Okay. Yeah. I can't drop the M-bombs, but they love pussy. All men do. White, black, Arab, Indian, even Chinese. Even, <laughs> even, even with their little dick selves. <laughs> Regardless of race, men love pussy. True. This is true. It's all true. Not the warrior. Not the warrior. (laughs) (laughs) The double soul shaman does not. This guy must not be a warrior. No. (laughs) He's just a pastor. (laughs) Can I see that one? But good news, you can get this at your local library now. You just have to ask and they'll order two or three copies. I can see that. (laughs) I am so fucking I live in a quaint little town in the country now. I can see them ordering that up. Uh, yeah. Pastors eat pussy too. Fuck it's yeah, amazing, guys. Yeah. Quan Mills, don't sleep on it. Go look at, go on Amazon. That people review all of his books. Quan so Mill know. loves you guys right oh, now. Yeah, of course. He's like fuck yeah. He's yeah. a treasure though. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you, all right. And just like that, I jumped on his face and started gyrating, holding onto his head. I felt his tongue slither between my. This clit is from and the ass. point of view of the old lady with his old lips. Thought. Sorry, the old he thought. sucked the shit out of my pearl. Tightening my thighs around his neck, I felt his beard tickle my inner thighs. My eyes rolled back, and I knew I was going to squirt all over the place. Yes, yeah, slob on that cat. Get it nice and wet for that dick, I groaned. Piss all over me, I then heard him mumble. You want me to do what? I shouted back to him. I said, piss all over my face. I want to drink your pee. Oh, Do it. There you go. And then, yes, mommy, don't See? stop. Now you guys are on board. Ma'am, what are you <laughs> I'm <a> doing? <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm a Quan Mills fan now. There you go. I, now that I know what I'm reading my kids for bedtime. There you go. This is a great one. shit man. is poetic. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's really wonderful. How does he think of that? It, it's just some people are just a, a natural, you know? Yeah. This, yeah. this pastor's eat pussy too has me <laughs> genuinely Why is that one so intrigued. small and well, skinny? You can take that you, home and take read it on with the you. Plane. Seriously? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a course. gift. It's a gift. Man, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's good for reading for the flight. Yeah, yeah big time. Yeah. Hell yeah, thank Hello, you Hello, Queen Scotty, though, where do you go for the burger? Now, we, yeah, yeah, just a lot of life going to a fucking burger. It's just, you're not but a gobshite, you. You're like shite down my shoe, That's the whole point, Now, yeah. you know what I always <laughs> say? Really from Ta-da, Scotland or something? Mm-hmm. He's an English, this guy, this is speaking English. Isn't that wild? <laughs> That's an English speaking Yeah, man. what the fuck was that? Something yeah. about going for a burger. And he said, fuck your burger. I'm going to go get this. Get this, get this, get this. I think somebody eating a burger. Something. And Mel Gibson know. fought for the freedom for that. It's cool when you know it's coming. Are they allowed to show people die on this shit? Because they don't show that shit on TikTok, Okay, either he's got an awkward or something. They don't show that on TikTok, right? Yeah, they do. Instagram. Instagram shows straight up That's what I heard. Yeah, listen. That's what I heard. Instagram is true. <laughs> yes, they are. No, they for are. real, man. Yeah, I don't know how you guys go down these rabbit holes, man. That's I, 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 I fucking. I flipped through. I got time. This, this <laughs> chick's just like pulls a TD out, pulls a TD out, and then lifts a baby and like this. Yeah, he's somebody's yeah. like, you know check this out. It's just some broad just with a it's titty with a baby. Instagram mouth. has is like the Wild West, man. Yo, it's wild. You know what I'm into on TikTok? I have to start sending you. That's why in, I can start sending my dick pics. Um, interrogation videos of yeah. like psychopathic. Oh, yeah, those fi- are great. Tif- there's a girl that 
like had her boyfriend kill her stepdad. Yeah. She's 15. Oh, that's just crazy. Yo, like to see how the interrogator <clears throat> get befriends them and then breaks them down and gets her to admit things. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's a, a long whole play. Thing. It takes a yeah. real skill for sure. Veo que habla español. Puedo puedo hablar un poquito, pero uh, no quiero destruir un idioma muy bonito y por eso voy a hablar un poquito en español, pero mucho en, en inglés. ¿Dónde aprendió español? Aquí en Texas, aquí en Texas. Hay muchos mexicanos, americanos que viven aquí y también en mis escuelas, mi escuela del junior high, también en high school. Estudié estudi español. Es un es una, es una idioma muy grande. Muy, es, es un, es un idioma muy importante aquí en este yeah. 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 That, yeah. That, was was right? that was great. Was, Actually, yeah. That was really, really good, man. I was impressed. Yeah, he, he killed seems it. like a yeah. genius now. Looks like he yeah. put his ears on. He <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. I've always thought he was fucking handsome. Oh. George W. He's supposed to be able to fucking draw and paint really good, too. Yeah, he's a right? painter now. He's yeah. smart yeah. guy then. Yeah. Okay, so this is a former astronaut, and this is what he wants you to do. Just sun gazing anytime. Huh. He's advocating you look... Well, Stare at the sun? Into the sun. I believe the uh, ophthalmology community has a different take on this. Wait, Zola, will you see if he is a former astronaut? I want to say that he is, right? What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like he's an aficionado because he's been closer to the sun than us, maybe. <laughs> and further, too. And he does it all the time. This is fucking retarded. Thank <laughs> it you is retarded. It. That's why it's so good. <laughs> okay, last one. Here you go. He could be faking this it. Oh, oh. is why you should not make cinnamon rolls or any baked goods out of your yeast infection. I just want to do some damage control because I know I came on here and said I made cinnamon rolls out of my yeast infection and they turned out really good. And they did. They tasted really good. Uh, but we oh, consumed what? them. And two days later, these white spots start popping up, popping up on mine it's and an my infection. husband's tongue. Part of it doesn't and I'm Googling it. what that means. <laughs> And it says it's oral thrush, which is essentially a yeast infection for your mouth. And the reason we have it is because we consumed my yeast infection. We, <laughs> So my what family. I thought was a very special Valentine's they gift, uh, yeast? truly a pastry made with love from things that came from my body, Ugh. turned out to be the president of oral thrush. And it's not fun having it. It's not the most comfortable thing to live with. Is that a child it's kind of painful. And I just gagging? feel so, so bad for giving it to my husband. That should be illegal, And I'm thinking no? I need to make it up to him in some way. Now, I would con I would make a pastry out of my breast milk again, but the the yeast is just not worth it. Just go buy yeast from the grocery store. You think? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Sound advice. That's a nice way to wrap things up. Right, thank you she should have started with that. Look at you. See all the emotions that's you went through? That's, that's what the I talks are about. It's about the roller coaster of feelings. <laughs> <laughs> and you laughed hard. Yeah. You, you, you had came a, hard. I hope again, though. I hope again. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. That's like big, like the people that write a Bigfoot story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if she's just like, I'm about to go viral. Oh, and you making that saying? up? I don't know. This that is like, she, okay, first me, she thought of the, bre the breast milk thing. You this know what is what I'm like saying? your average and everyday it, person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just doing a TikTok. This is like your next door neighbor, Mary. You know what I'm saying? Is. Who knows what the fuck they're doing in their house? I'm hoping but, but, that's all bullshit. But that's why TikTok is so amazing. It's just the average woman next door making a cinnamon bun with her yeast infection. And it's so Just trying special. to go viral off it. It's so good. She should do a how to to do it video. Yeah. I think she did. That's, and oh, that's yeah. what happened. Oh, boy. Because well, this made the rounds on the top. I'll, I'll let you know, as, as he said earlier, um, hard pass if you're thinking of doing that. <laughs> I'm not interested. Yeah. I would <laughs> Never. Yeah. No, dude. Well, don't go, dudes get yeast infections? You can get it from a woman. Yeah. Oh, yes. And you, and you can, can pass it. it back to her if you don't treat the one that's on you. Yes. Ah, so I mean, you can pass it back a dude and can forth. make some big you can goods. ping pong. I like how we were thinking. Yeah, some ball bread. <laughs> we can make our own bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. I might make you something. I'm going to fucking throw out. <laughs> there you go. There you you go. can exchange treats on Valentine's no, Day. There's probably couples that have been ping ponging it their whole life. Oh, yeah. They just don't got the money to go to the clinic. Yeah, exactly. Or whatever. Or just be like, it's your turn to get the bone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get the bone. Yeah. Um, well, look, this is a, a, such a treat having you guys here. Thank you guys um, for coming. And once again, 24th annual gathering of the Juggalos. Is, Indeed. I mean, it's really a testament to like 
to you guys and and your fan base, but like what you've got going and kept together and, and grown. It's it's really impressive. So congratulations on yes, that. It's like, you, you should be celebrating. Um, uh, your health, you're, you're feeling better, you said. You feel good. Yeah, um, I'm all that's, good. And you, I mean, not only did you feel better, you fucking wrestled like a lunatic. Yeah. So <laughs> that's... Uh, that's to be celebrated. So congratulations on thank that. You, and on thank doing stand up. We love having you guys. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Guys. And, uh, oh, and thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you for pa- pastors eat pussy too. You yeah, got absolutely. It. Absolutely. It's you guys, I just, really appreciate I don't it. Take just the one though. Yeah, no, it's a hard thing. He, he he, hey, you can take more than yeah, one. He's trying to you fuck can take I, want, one. I would like to see the entire stack, please. <laughs> it's yours. We can always get more. You so. can have them. It's a gift. Thank you can take It's a gift. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. Our dad had taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks. Mm. Mm. Especially since they're such good size and all. Mm. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Mm. Sometimes I pull on it so hard, I rip the skin. Mm. That's a gaping dad. Gaping dad. That's a gaping dad. That's a gaping dad. Giving dad, that's a gaping dad. Have my dad's dick. Have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. I have my dad's dick. Have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. My daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth instead of your own hands. I need my dad's balls. I have my dad's dick. Have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Balls, balls. I have my dad's dick. Have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Balls, balls. I have my dad's dick. Have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Balls, balls. I have my dad's dick. Have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. Balls, balls. I have my dad's dick. Have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's balls. balls, balls. I have my dad's dick. Have my dad's dick. I have my dad's dick. I need my dad's so depraved oh my gosh you just watched your mom's house did you like it then watch another one watch our clips i don't know check it out try it out if you didn't like it look for other stuff maybe in the next video there's people getting hurt the way you like or maybe gay dudes talking about dick stuff i don't know try it out maybe there's always something for everybody just look in these cubes squares whatever